Okay, guys. Well, here we are. I wasn't going to watch this video, but you guys sent it to me a hundred times. And then also I was like, you know what? Why shouldn't I watch it? I should, uh, let me get that bank, <laughs> you know? So, you know, I'm a little bird. Well, I'm not, I'm a little tired of the Sneeko stuff, but Hey, listen, like I said, let's get some money. <laughs> anyway, we're going to play some God of War while we do this. The original, the original God of War. Okay. Let's get this party started. This is Aiden Ross and Sneeko debate with Andrew Tate hater which is actually Destiny. I have the Destiny video here because it's like weirdly 31 minutes, but like there isn't 31 minutes from when Destiny pops into the stream here on Aiden's video, so I might watch that one instead at some point. Whatever, let's go. Let's see here. All right. Sneaky-o. Sneaky-o. What? Sneaky-o. Can you hear me, little bro? Little bro. Uh, I can actually hear you loud and clear, little little brother. All right? Yeah, little bro. Why, why are you saying me for because i was joking his song was like oh he's trying to turn his ego i said song that's a joke man well, come on man you're debating the same people we're talking to the same guys I talking know. about similar issues <laughs> trying to doesn't he talk to the same people too like isn't it just fresh and fit or whatever other manosphere like carbon copy there is jack yay 24 i'm just saying it's hold going on, down a on. similar trajectory yay well, I wonder, I wonder, yay 24. I'm pretty sure Aiden didn't talk to Kanye because of all the anti-Semitic stuff. Yay 24 can only happen if I'm a part of the, the, um, the campaign. It's the only way. Why is that? To get, to get the Jewish youth Jewish on their side? You need, you guys need the Jews. You need to show everyone that the Jews are invited and loved. And that's just a fact. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure he burned that bridge, especially with Lex Friedman. Um, I don't think there's any hope for, uh, for the Kanye anything, so. Right. Well, if, if we want to really talk real about this, um, you know, you know, I was involved. Did you really have an interview lined up or did you just talk to him on the phone? No. So I spoke to somebody who um, was. Wait, are you talking about with, with Kanye or are you talking about who you talking about? Yeah. You, you talked about Ye saying that you had this interview plan and then yeah, it I, didn't I, really. I spoke to him on the phone. We texted for uh, I think it was two or you three You texted. Days. Did you really have an interview lined up? He wasn't really doing press anymore. He Me? did his interview run. No, I have a literal text. Oh, my, here, I'll send it to you right now. I have a text on my phone that says, yeah, let's let's do the stream when you get back from Dubai. OK, OK, OK. I'll send it to you later on. But um, no, that's actually at the top of our conversation. Well, what's going on? You said that you have some things that you disagree with me about. I want to and I like what you're doing, man. I like uh, that you stand for something now. You're not doing degenerate dildo stuff anymore. I like like the new Aiden. I miss the new Aiden. I miss the new Aiden for real. Well, um, I'm going back to the, to that. I actually. I also like that Sneeko's not doing degenerate dildo stuff, like <laughs> watching his girlfriend get cucked. I want to go back to sucking dick, fucking dildos, riding dildos. Okay. I want to go back to um, like, well, you're wow. in uh, Thailand. You're in, well, you're Bangkok, right? There's a lot of a lot of transgenders there. Probably have some nice cocks, right? Bangkok. Well, you know, and, and we don't do any degeneracy anymore. We're not on it. We're both evolving. We've had a degenerate path past the both of us so i'm here just training every single day traveling the world enjoying life beautiful view behind me which is in dubai trying to work on uh Wait, i thought you were in tate i thought you were in bangkok <laughs> i'm not getting the joke is he just trying to make like a like a uh, like a joke about trans women or something like i don't understand like is he was he actually in bangkok or did he just want to drop that bank that banger yeah. you're banned too ban you're bro you're almost as canceled as me i don't know why you're making this joke kind of not really what did i really do to get canceled though if you really think about it what the fuck did i do Come on, man. There, there's, there's more than, there's more than two genders. Oh, I said, you think so? No, there's not. There's two genders. There's two. Uh, right. Well, th that's not what got Aiden canceled. I don't think there was a, there's a, lot, there's a lot more to it. Uh, but okay. In the chat, there's, there's 100%. Right. Thank you for saying that. I and Jadion should have said it too. Jadion is a man so of God. Nice. He's a Christian. Everybody who believes in God knows that God created two genders. This is not a debate. Okay, thank you. We can, we can close that off there. Uh, I guess I just disagree. You know, there's two sexes. There's more than two genders, but who really cares? Like, in all honesty, who really cares? That just seems to be like the only thing. When conservative or individuals have nothing else to say, they just seem to just talk about gay people all the time. You know what I mean? I, I miss when conservatives, I don't know, cared about the middle class. <laughs> like, I don't understand. The bar's on the floor, man, because the Democrats don't really give that much of a shit either. It's just some sad stuff, man. And there's stuff that I'm going to ask you, and you can ask me as well, um, about stuff, about what we think about. Because I'm sure there's stuff that you, you and I disagree on or whatever, but we'll talk about it. Okay, so this is what I'll ask you, first of all. The most critical situation. You know, you, you start, it was so funny. You're like dancing with a fucking gun, like right here, like just dancing. And he says, yeah, and he had his mags out. <laughs> oh, wait, no, there were clips. But like, <laughs> some clips. Like, I'm going to be honest, bro. 
he did really own you. You know he did. That's like okay. You just talk. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You talk about you talk about fuck white people. That's some white people shit to be like. Oh, clips, magazines. But everybody says clip. Is that really an own to be like? Yes, it's an own. What does what that have to do with white people? Bro, Sneeko is like coping so hard that, dude, Sne dude, Sneeko is a TikTok girl. He's going to go to clip. He's going to say, that's such a white person thing to do. To what? Use proper language on things? I, I <laughs> Bro, he's literally a TikTok, a literally like a TikTok 15 year old non binary kid that's going around saying, wow, white people just do all these bad things. Like, literally, like, I don't understand. Holy fuck. Actually, it's called magazine. Dude, come on, bro. Okay, and second, if you talk about if we're gonna talk about dildos, if we're gonna talk about sucking dick. That dude actively still does that. There's so many. He just dropped a music what? video huh? of the. Uh, he just dropped a music what? video of upside down crosses promoting antichrist okay. with dildos throwing at each other's face, promoting drugs, promoting all the degeneracy. Wow. Not it's not an old clip, bro. He just dropped a music video last week with the antichrist in the back. Okay, well, you're you're literal like your your man is Andrew Tate, who like sex traffics women and sells porn. Like I don't really know how you could talk about degeneracy. Like I don't really get it. Brown promoting Satanism. This is disgusting. And I think that we both know okay. that the youth needs a more positive message right now. Both of us are not perfect. Both of us. Yeah, the positive message is fuck women, <laughs> but don't actually have sex with them. Watch them get fucked, but also hate them. That's what I meant to say. Kind of troubled past, but we should look Bro, at the future. Here, I don't know why fucking... everybody, all these soy boys, continue to talk about my fat past and not talk about the present. I've had people come on Omegle and say that, yo. Bro, the re dude, uh, this is actually making me like, I'm getting tilted. Um, bro, the reason people are talking about your past um, is because you keep throwing shots at. You keep throwing shots at people for like you're you're hate farming, uh, Charlie. You're like that's all you're doing. So he's like, okay, you're gonna like talk shit about me, like like in front of my girlfriend. I'm gonna talk shit about you. So there you go. Nobody would be talking about this shit if you were like a respectful person. He doesn't care about actually having a conversation about any particular message, because if he did, he would be he would actually be like intelligent. But he's not. He's just like a hate farming fucking idiot. You and Aiden. Sneeko and Aiden helped me start working out. I've been doing push-ups every single day. Yeah, bro. I've had people come up to me and be like, yo, bro, you started helping me like change the whole trajectory of my life. I'm going Ooh. to the gym every day. 2020, 23 is my year. People like on ironic question, because I've been going to the gym too. Um does has Sneeko like what for like is it gonna be something that's gonna happen from like a long term capacity? Like what does Sneeko do that makes people go to the gym? Because like what's his workout advice? Like, does he recommend like a routine or anything? Like what's the I'm just curious because it's always like, oh, the people in the manosphere, I know the manosphere says sexist things, but they also have some good things to say. But it's like, if you want good things to say when it comes to weightlifting, like watch Alan Thrall. Like, I don't know. Watch like uh, Elliot Hulse. I know Elliot Hulse has gone a little crazy, but he's still a good guy. Okay. I'm going to live and die on that. So like, where's the decent, like actual workout advice? Where's the like, hey, start with five by five strong lifts. Like, hey, do Wendler five through one, read these particular resources, do this, you know? People are motivated right now and all these same people the same people that talk shit about you talk shit about me because they want us to stay to our degenerate path you never got canceled when you were being gay when you were sucking dick and boxing dildos nobody had a problem as soon as you start doing push-ups talking about how tate it should be freed talking about how there's only two genders talking about five that wasn't what got us i gotta go look up i forget exactly what he did to get banned this time um following god not being degenerate now everybody wants to cancel you i think you know i, I you know i was saying text. I, everything you're saying is true it, you know it is at the end of the day like it's kind of funny you know with everything you just said, it's actually true. I say a fact, a scientific fact about two genders, and I just get fucking canceled for it. It's crazy. Um, okay, cool. Listen, bro. I want to ask you a question. Uh, Why were you... Um... Okay, so my understanding is the actual reason why Aiden got banned... Um... You started using 5x5 five five strong list? That's awesome. Had to do with him not moderating his chat. It's it's it's, it's very... it's We don't really know because Twitch isn't being upfront about it. It has nothing to do with him saying there's two genders. Nobody gives a shit about that. Like, nobody cares about trans people, okay? <laughs> like, I, like I, I, I do, but we like we like nobody really does. It has nothing to do with that. What ends up happening is, like, people who gravitate towards, like, the male ideology shit, it's not that they, like, oh, they get banned for liking Andrew Tate. What ends up happening is that they they use that ideology as an excuse to just be like a total piece of shit. So apparently um, he was, so a Twitch spokesperson told Dextero that Aiden Ross was banned after showing unmoderated hateful conduct in the chat. Um, other sources share that February 24th, Aiden was streaming on Twitch when he knowingly showed chat from kick for 20 minutes. That's what got him banned, right? I'll put this right here. I'll put this in the thing. That's what got him banned, 
right? Is because like he's a large content creator and he probably had the F slur blasting in the chat. And when we watched him talk about this on Kick, everybody was just saying the F slur. He had to literally censor his entire chat and remove it like from the video. He had it like blow all blurred out because people were saying the fucking like F slur so much. It has nothing to do with him saying there are two genders or not. It has everything to do with the fact that like he was just letting people say like slurs in his chat without restricting anything. That's it. He's just lying. Mm-hmm. And plus, that happened after he was banned. Just be careful. These people are literally just trying to rewrite history every time they talk. It's pathetic. It's literally just like a victim complex. It's just pathetic. It's not going to come on a debate, by the way. The whole chat should... He doesn't want to fight. I understand. He's shorter. He doesn't leave his room. He games all day. He promotes a generacy. Whoa, whoa, Horn. Sneeko, Sneeko. Yeah, he, he won't he, debate. He won't debate. If, he, if he doesn't want to fight, at least he can debate. I don't know where he is. He does look okay, free. He looks pretty strong. I looked at his picture. He looks kind of tough. It would be he a does. good boxing match. I it would be a good match, I think. It would be a great match. You would in the video that you said he owned me and he also said... Oh, yeah, and Aiden also apparently streamed porn. Right, I forgot about that. That might also have something to do with it. Um, you know, the degeneracy. That I would beat him up, so he's not going to do it. We both know it. Whatever, right. fuck that shit. I don't really give a fuck about that shit, all right? Either way, it was just funny. He, with magazines, you know, he pulled out an actual, like, a real big gun. It was kind of funny. All right, listen, bro. So why were you even beefing in the first place? What happened? Please, tell me. Okay, you, you want to know why? Because the reason is because he's desperately trying to hate farm to maintain like some level of relevancy. Okay, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even close. And it's so funny because Seiko is still generally relevant. Like I keep saying, this dude could just like take a little bit of a break after he got banned, just relax a little bit. Um, and he could just like he won't. He could get his shit together. But like he's so desperate to be back in the public sphere, he doesn't care how. And he's just going ballistic. I'll explain it, and I would prefer to just go talk to him because this back and forth, this drama stuff, you know. All the yeah, but like, why would he do that? You're the one that's engaging in the back and forth. You can't start the dra the drama shit and then then fucking morally grandstand and say like it's just drama. You're the one doing it, bro. What are you talking about? Twitter pages are gonna clip this up and all the you know what I'm saying the Dexerto, Jake Sucky, these people are gonna clip it up. But the reason we started beefing was because I first heard about Fresh and Fit from a hit piece of his video from one of his videos. Chat, he lies. Or no? All he does is lie. He lied when Tay got locked up. Dude, he he made f he made fun of uh Fit was it Fresh Fresh Prince, the shorter darker one. Um, because he kept talking about how he like fucked three girls in the same night, blah, 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 blah. And it's believable because he's a rich guy. But like the story changes every time I've seen him talk about it, like two or three times now. So I'm going to fall. Um, that's it. So he made fun of him. It's not that big of a deal. And Sneeko, I don't know. He's just like, I guess. Damn. Sneeko decided to defend his friend to the death. So he said that Greta Thunberg doxed him for the pizza box. That's not true. How oh stupid do you have to be? The guy's 30 plus and he really believes that they don't check your passport when you enter an airport. He Bro, you believe that COVID was a conspiracy theory? Like, let's not let's let's not uh, let's <laughs> like let's let's not pretend that like you're the fucking uh, you're intelligent in any capacity. Okay, I think people were just making people were just making fun of Andrew Tate because like he made fun of Greta and people were memeing on him and going, "Oh, Greta got him fucking arrested." It was funny. I don't think anybody actually thought that it was like a meme. But okay. Dude, oh my God. He doesn't think that two of the most high-profile people in the world, Andrew and Tristan Tate, would have been tracked entering Romania. He legitimately got on camera and said, Good Thunberg doxed him because the pizza box. All okay. these Soyboy channels, the same ones that are making hit pieces on me and you right now, they all lied. Nobody's making hit pieces. People are talking about you because it's like you're relevant. That's literally it. Or rather, your controversy is more relevant than anything else. And it's content. And people will tune in. And there's nothing better to do. <laughs> I have nothing better to watch right now. If I did, I wouldn't be watching. Bro, I'm going to have a fucking meltdown. Okay. Believe in this. Real quick, that, bro. Real, quick for, for, real quick, cut you off. So people don't know what is what is the definition of a soy boy? What is that? A soy boy is a pasty person who doesn't want to change. These internet gangsters who internet believe gangsters. in nothing. They You're the one talking about fighting people and threatening to shoot them with guns and then running away from Brandon Buckingham, bro. Stand for nothing. Right now, the reason I respect you is you have something that you stand for. He doesn't. The reason that he respects him is because he's the only person that'll like talk to him that doesn't like hate, think he's a fucking idiot. That's because that's because Aiden is just kind of. It's asking me if I want to make the game easier because I keep dying. This doesn't this making the game easier isn't going to change anything. It's literally just like a weird corner. Sword boys before the internet, they had no voice. It used to be the traditional alpha male. I'm not an alpha male, you're not an alpha male. I know they both call us that now to try to discredit us. But well, you call your you basically imply that you're an alpha male it used to be by calling other people soy boys. Alpha males led the world. Now since the internet, Mark Zuckerberg <clears> took over, and now people who didn't nerds who never had any power control the world. So really quick, to this alpha male point. Um, like, sure, people who run the world like to have influence. Nowadays, influence is generated by being the smarty pants, not by fighting people. All right. It's I, like, who, who doesn't like to watch a good UFC fight? Am I right? But at the end of the day, um, 
people who who make Twitter and shit like that, these people are more valuable than a guy who could than a guy that can fight. That's just it. Like wars are fought with like misinformation, especially now too. This is camera angles not doing me any favors. That's it. I know like you think like alpha male strong. Like it's not about it was never about being strong. It was always about being able to dominate in some capacity. And people who are intelligent and can create technology, um, those people are considered the intelli intellectuals. Those are the alpha men now. Okay. Because they control social media. So now these people have a voice that would have never had any say beforehand. That's a sore boy. So they, and yeah, then they well, you are one of those people. Like nobody would give a shit about you or me or most people on the internet if we didn't have this platform. So this face, they look like monkeys screaming. Yo! Wow. <laughs> Screenshot that, please. All right, listen, wait, okay, Screenshot so. Screenshot that, please. You know, it's funny you say that. I think Andrew's the first one to call me a soy boy. I don't know. Did he? he called me, no, he just said he likes soy fucking coffee and shit. But I get your... Wait, so hold on. Did, 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 did Aiden give up the whole, like, um, the whole working on himself thing? Like, he let his hair grow back. He was talking about going back to his old content. Is this just proof that Andrew Tate's message doesn't actually work? Because people will just revert back at less than three weeks. <laughs> and then it's like there's no meaningful advice in the manosphere. Because it sounds like it to me. It's, like, it's basically a, uh, someone said a cuck -a male a cuck -a male or some shit like cuck -a -male. that. Low testosterone, yeah, that. Okay, gotcha. Well, you're not wrong about all that shit. Um, all right, well, let's see. Uh, oh. Someone said address the pedophile allegations. And that's why I want to debate about him. Like, that's why I want to come <laughs> on here. I don't want to do this insult back and forth. So he, he really doesn't like the fact that I supported the movie Cuties. But Cuties is actually a movie about Islamic faith. It's about how how Western degeneracy can corrupt people and why TikTok is bad for you. Nobody who hates oh, that movie incredible. actually saw it. I didn't even know that the TikTok was part of that movie. I'm going to be real with you. Holy moly. Maybe it is a good movie. Oh, come on, bro. It's about a Western African family that went to France, which is westernized, a bunch of TikTok garbage, and they get infiltrated by this nonsense and the girl starts dancing oh, and stuff incredible. like that. It's gross. The movie is supposed to be gross. And then at the end, she starts okay. to find her family. She puts on a hijab. She starts covering herself and she finds God. And she I don't. I may. I don't know if that's what the movie's actually about. So, but I'm not going to watch it. To be fair, um, like yes, yeah, Seiko's obviously not a pedophile. Like, let's be real. The only reason, like, it's it's more of just uh, ad hominem attacks from voice critical. But it's because it's because uh, Seiko started by talking shit about his girl. So like now he's uh, like he's just irritated by it. So that's pretty much it. She finds an so. Islamic religion. That was my point. That's why I like the movie. But all these sore boys, they saw oh, this is bad without watching it. They have all the same copy and paste the opinions. Movie, these commentary channels don't stand for anything. They just say exactly Ooh. what Twitter says because they don't feel like doing any research. And you just say exactly what the opposite of what Twitter says. <laughs> you can't talk about how people are sheep when you're just a fucking anti sheep. That's it. I'm going to kill myself. Sorry. What are you talking about, dude? Like, I, again, this is the guy who said that COVID doesn't exist. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, people died from COVID. Like, excess death rates were fucking insane. And, like, he's the guy that's going to tell us that nobody does any research. What does research look like to you? Just believing, like, whatever they don't, whatever they say is wrong. I, I don't understand. Like, yeah, do independent research, but you don't know what the fuck you're on about. Okay. Um... And also, if you say address the pedophile allegation, Aiden, who looks more like a pedophile? Who would you rather not bring around your children? That dude with the beard and the fentanyl hair looking like he sleeps under a bridge or me. Who looks like a pedophile? Does anyone, this is why this allegation is kind of stupid. Does anyone actually think I'm a pedophile? Does anyone think that? You look, take one look at this dude. It's like, bro, <laughs> yeah, I would not. People who game all day, that always, these Minecraft YouTubers, <laughs> it's, it's, it's Sky does Minecraft, these dudes gaming all day. That's always who it is. That's why he's so hard on that. Probably because he has some weird stuff in his hard drive. Just Maybe. I mean, like, not for another... It's it's absolutely true that, like, there seems to be, like, a lot of Minecraft YouTubers who are fucking weirdos. But also, um, I, I, I'm a little apprehensive about a person who identifies with a group, like, the Manosphere, that advocates for older men dating younger women in, like, a really weird way. Like, guys in the Manosphere who are like, yeah, I want fucking girls that like, don't have any hair, they're completely fresh, they've never had sex before. Like, you're literally talking about, basically, children. And even if, like, and, and you're the ones talking about you're trying to say that he looks like a pedophile. I just it doesn't add up to me. Like if I was part of like a weird ideology that wanted like fucking like basically kids that will do chores and like uh, with no sexual experience or any type of life experience that a lot of which like fresh and fit go to clubs and they hit on drunk girls when they don't drink themselves. I'm thinking that maybe if we're asking which one's more of a predator, I don't know. I, so that's a tough call. Personally, personally, it's a tough call. I might have to do my research on this one, guys. Let's do some research. The same. Um, I will agree with you on that. I, I like that take. I think all these guys who are, oh, oh man, yo, I, don't, I don't see what I want to say, that are basically sh um, silenced and shit. Like, literally, like, they're so afraid to speak against the agenda. I will agree with you on that. What? These guys definitely do some really weird shit. Like, these guys over at Twitch, for example, these fucking streamers who are 
pitch perfect, right? And they just literally like, no matter what, like dicks off Twitch, no matter what, even though there's there's literal corruption going on in the world and on Twitch itself, and they don't say anything, they're okay. obviously hiding shit behind closed doors. They're doing weird shit. I don't care. They are. Maybe. You know, you hear about it all the fucking time. I mean, like, yeah, who likes a fucking... There are people... Uh, like virtue signaling pieces of shit all the time on Twitch. Like, let's not pretend that like all the progressives on, tw on Twitch are like magical, like amazing people. Like, nobody people on Twitch are like fucking morally devoid, like losers that just care about like having as much money as possible and weaponizing every topic that happens um, to try to make themselves like appear morally virtuous in some capacity. Like, that's really all it boils down to. Like, of course, absolutely, I agree with that. But that doesn't make you right just because they're also wrong. Okay. It's always a projection. They have weird things. They have skeletons in their closet, so they need to blame other people for what's that. going on so they feel better. It's always like that. The person who's accusing the most, the person who's calling Tate a sex trafficker, has always a weird path. Well, Tate is a sex trafficker. Like, we're like, from his own words, he's a sex trafficker. Like, we have to be we have to be beyond this now, right? Like, your most reasonable take, or the most, like, uh, pro-Tate stance that you could have while taking the facts into consideration is that Andrew Tate, by his own words and admittance, is a sex trafficker, but we should wait for, um, but let's wait for, like, the, 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 the trial to finish before we make any decisions that's fine uh, but like no by his own words he's a fucking sex trafficker we're kind of there like I, you you like that you talk about facts but like this guy is on camera talking about how he fucking uh promises like what he uh, promises that he'll marry these women he gets girls who've never done sex work to go and do his webcam uh, business in a way that's different from other people he treats them like prostitutes which is not a fucking awesome based thing it's an abusive thing i've seen prostitutes before i grew up around fucking prostitutes not super close to me close enough where i've been propositioned a few times they're always on drugs they're never fucking happy because like pro uh, pimps will like full pump them full of these drugs he does that lover boy method he gets them dependent on him he won't let them leave unless they he feels they're in love with him enough to come back like hey, what are you talking about we're beyond we're we're beyond this it's not a projection okay there's no projection here if i was a sex trafficker i'd be like yeah andrew tate is fucking based that's what i would be saying to be honest with you i don't know what you want me to tell you I mean, it's it's a red flag to look at the shit that Tate has admitted to doing and going, this is probably not that bad. That's a big fucking red flag to me. So has some weird stuff going on because they don't understand the real world. The Internet has corrupted a lot of minds. You know what, you know what's you're one of those minds, Nico. Like, you don't understand the real world either. <laughs> you keep threatening to fight people. Like, obviously, you're a fucking child. Crazy. Sneeko, Sneeko, it's crazy. On the internet, everyone says that Tate's a sex trafficker, a rapist. He is. But in person, I've never met someone that said, hey, you know, he's a rapist. And it's, it's crazy. You're not wrong about some of the things you say. Well, that's because, first of all, nobody gives a shit about this stuff off, like, fucking offline. Nobody really cares about Andrew Tate offline for the most part, except for dumb little 15-year-old boys. That's the thing. We like to, we think that, like, Tate's this super popular, incredible guy, and he is, but it's, he's popular amongst children. Like, little boys are like, yeah, this guy's so fucking based and awesome. Like, adults don't really give a shit about what's going on with Andrew Tate. That's what's going on. Uh, additionally, you are like your friends are people who are not going to disagree with Andrew Tate, so they're not going to say that. Like uh, that's just like the way that your fucking community is going to operate. No shit. People on Twitter itself are not real. I swear to God, it's like they're NPCs, bro. I've never seen these people on in the real life world. I just haven't. I don't come across them. I don't. I've, not, I've, never, I've never had a negative interaction. I've been trending for five, four or five days for all these haters. I've never seen them in real life. It's always positive. People shaking my hand, like thank you for what you're saying. I'm glad oh. for what you're doing. You really. It's crazy that the people live around you that are most likely going to be like you are saying that you're awesome. <laughs> like what a hot thing. Like the people that I meet that I like uh, that know me from TikTok. They all like like every person I've ever met in real life has, from TikTok has liked me a lot. Do you want to know why? Because they're all from the same place, and we have a we generally think pretty similarly. So I, there was a guy the other day he worked at a movie theater. He's like, "Oh, are you Papa God?" And I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "You know, I'm more of a conservative, but I really respect like some of the things you have to say. Like, I appreciate the way that you interact with stuff. You know, no, like of course, like we're we're going to like we live in a similar area, and that has an impact on the way like the way you grow up. Of course." inspired me but look that's a great analogy you made epstein when it comes out that he's a sex trafficker you know how many people come out and say actually yeah epstein was creep epstein sniffed my chair epstein touched my epstein was 100 percent a sex trafficker so many people come out and say that weinstein same thing so many people say yeah there's weird stuff there's rumors about it tate no not one person close to him has ever accused him of something bad not one except for those girls <laughs> except for the girls who accused him nobody nobody has accused him i'm sorry incredible person has anything negative and then he, he himself has admitted it but those aren't people close to him because can you really be close to yourself, guys? To say they all say positive things, and right now he's still sure locked up, and none of these streamers care about that. It's a human rights violation, and he should be freed soon. I, you know, he needs to be freed. So yeah, what I'm trying to say is, the chat, you guys could agree with me. The people that are actually on some real life shit, whether you guys, uh, what are you drinking? Sparkling water. Okay, so look. It's, damn, he's sparkling water. Wow, he really is just like a player. He literally will listen to anything Andrew Tate says to the point.
<laughs> He's drinking sparkling water. That's awesome. Okay. You guys can all agree. Say facts in the chat or cap. I want to just know. Do you guys want to talk about when I talk about the people with, with, the, with the extra pronouns and shit in their bio on Twitter who say all these <laughs> things and, and, and you'll never catch them in person. You just won't. I, I don't think they're real. I think they're literally bots. Like I, I'm genuinely convinced they're not real people. I, and, and I, oh and, my and, god! You know, I, it's, it's, Listen, I'm going to be real because obviously, like, I'm transforming or whatever. But people with their pronouns on the bio are annoying. Like, let's just be real. I'm not trying to be rude. Okay, but they can be a little bit annoying. Um, you know, it makes the rest of us look bad. To be honest with you, I'd probably put my pronouns in the bio if people with pronouns in the bio weren't so fucking annoying. Because for me, it would be like, oh, I just want people to know that like I'm I fuck with trans people. And I fuck them. Um, a lot of people, like fifteen-year-old Twitter kids and like TikTok kids, they're like, "Oh, like a lot of them, non-binary exists, trans people exist, but there are people who pretend to be trans and non-binary, and like the the children, the ones that are doing it, because they think it's cool." Some of them, not all of them, but the ones who are trans trending are the young fifteen-year-olds that are like, "Oh my god, she, her," uh, or they're like, "They, they, them, he," and it's like some actual like biological girl who fucking like doesn't do anything to change her appearance because like it, it, it just doesn't mean anything to her right it's like well what does it mean to you you're dressing like a girl you just said you're just saying call me a boy it's like well uh, it means nothing to me because they don't know shit about dick it's just like a way to look unique right that's not all trans people those make like actual valid non-binary people look like bad right um but like yeah i don't see those in real life either because you know i don't live uh in a mental hospital <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> i do no um well, i'm just getting like dumpstered right now <laughs> It's, it's, it's crazy, you know, and I, and I think it's wrong for people to to say, oh, for example, Aiden, you have such a, a big name or you hold power on this youth shit. But these people hold power on, on youth, too, and they promote their Who's own they? weird agendas. It's just so hypocritical and controversial Please? with certain topics without all these people think that everyone's pitch perfect and shit, you know? It's crazy. Well, that's why, that's, that's, Nobody's perfect, but most people don't accidentally sex traffic women. That's why pronouns were designed. Wokeness and all this cancel culture, these people who feel like they're designed. better people who believe in a million Ooh. genders, they have designed that to bring people down. To I believe in three. Okay, boy, girl, not binary. That's fine with me. I don't get it, but I mean, like, listen, it makes sense, right? It's a middle. If there could be intersex of the body, why not intersex of the mind, you know? But did I get a spell? Oh, shit. You know, that's kind of how I look at push it. Push therapy to push degeneracy to tell you that jerking off is good. They want you. Jerking off is good. This is why, like, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Jerking off is good. It's good for your prostate and it's good for your stress release. Porn is bad. This is what I'm talking about. He doesn't know what he's saying. He's like fucking, he's an absolute idiot. Jerking off is a good thing for you to do. It helps relieve stress. It reduces your anger levels. As a guy, that's especially can be very important. Um, and it's good for your prostate. When it comes to porn, that's destructive to the mind. Unironically, like fucking destructive to the mind. Okay. That like it, it sets you up for bad sexual interactions because it teaches you like a, se a sex the wrong way. It just fucking rots your brain, man. It gives you like a focus. It's almost an addiction. I can't tell you how many times like I've jerked off for like four or five hours in the same day because like I just like had to find the perfect video and it's had like a negative impact on my life. Like it's not good, especially, especially if you get into when you're a kid because it'll just poison your brain, but it's not jerking off. That's bad. Okay. Cause it desensitizes you. It fucks you up, man. It's not jerking. It's it's porn, and like it just. I know that it doesn't seem like a big deal, but like this is all the, the kind of shit I'm talking about. He doesn't have like an understanding of what he's saying, at all. To, to be sad. They want you yo, to Nico, do you remember when I said stop watching porn and do push-ups? And Hassan said, "Wow, Aiden's really going full right." How is that going full right? I'm telling you guys to stop watching. I don't like Hassan, but it sounds like there's. It sounds like you may not be accurately representing what Hassan. It's possible that you're not actually accurately representing what Hassan said, uh, just based on the way that you've been talking about how like, oh, they banned me for two gender shit, even though you had like the F slur on the screen for like 20 minutes on fucking Twitch and you didn't do anything to moderate it. Porn and do push ups. How does that make me a rightist? How does that make me a because rightist? How? Because they, they have made self-improvement a right-wing idea. Leftists are so far controlled, so far woke with all their genders, antichrist, the Satanist beliefs, bringing people down, this weird... Bro, now there's pride flags in, in schools. Well, first of all, like, not for nothing, there's a level of truth to this, okay? There is. When when I see... um, This is the problem, generally speaking. And, and I want to be real, because the conservatives I know in person are not... Like, they're moderate conservatives, like my mother. Like, like people who understand that there are conditions that will like, make it difficult to do things. But generally speaking, the left is very focused on... Um, like systemic problems where like, you know, there's, you know, uh, different forms of oppression you could identify with, whether it's because you're black or you're poor um, or you have a disability and they'll say like, oh, this is a problem. The problem is, is that sometimes they'll go too far and say like, okay, if you're failing in life and you happen to be black, it must all be because you're black or you happen to be fat. It's all because you're fat or you happen to uh, be disabled. Every, all your failures are attributed to this, right? When the reality is, is we need to acknowledge those issues 
But at the same time, you there's only so much you could do. The system's not going to change in a day. If you want to be successful, you're going to have to overcome your own oppressions. It's going to be harder for people uh, that have like more serious oppressions, and that sucks. But like conservatives will completely dismiss all of the like systemic aspects for the personal aspects and both of those are wrong like i said you need to acknowledge issues but you can't victimize yourself and you, you turn this into this victim complex the problem is is that like the manosphere promotes a victim complex when they sit there and say that all problems in the world are because of fucking women and the fact that women are free like yeah of course that's also a victim complex so we we have to understand this it's still not good. So it's kind of ironic that you're going to call out like all this victim complex when like you exist in an ideology that basically advocates for a male victim complex instead of teaching personal responsibility. Of course, men and women could do better and there's men and women's issues. But like when you're sitting here saying like, oh, men can't find dates, but it's all women's fault. It's like, well, maybe, maybe there's some blame to have on the men as well, right? It goes back and forth, bro. Now they're twerking in front of kids. The drag queens are teaching your children the alphabet. That now jerking well, who cares about off that? is part of their ideology. So really quick, there's nothing wrong with LGBTQ flags in schools. Who cares? I, you shouldn't be having complex gender discussions with children. That's ridiculous. You shouldn't be telling children that they're like all this other shit. But just having a flag that's just meant to be like representative um, of like gay people, which exist. Right. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. Like, this is the problem. It's like it's just homophobic. It's not saying like, hey, like, listen, I don't think you should be teaching robust fucking gender ideology to fucking kids. It's ridiculous. It's just going to confuse them. But like a gay flag is just meant to be like, oh, representation for a kid that might be fucking gay. Because hot take a kid that's the kid, like an adult that's gay was gay as a kid. And it makes him feel a little bit more comfortable as a person. OK, considering Sneeko has talked about how he's had like fucking feelings for men and like thought men were attractive. It's just kind of ironic that now he's like on his full fucking like uh, suppression arc here. So what's a, so what's, a, what's, a, what's, a, what's a drag queen? What is that? A drag queen is uh... also I don't give a shit about drag queen sexualized like drag queen shows are wrong. But like it's basically just a person. It's basically just like a clown. They're in like makeup. It's not that big of a deal. I don't mean that disparagingly, but like I don't care if a drag queen reads to a kid. I really don't give a shit. Parents are bringing their whatever. If it's a sexualized drag show, that's a problem, obviously. But who cares if it's like basically some fucking it's like a fucking person in makeup. Like I don't really give a shit. <laughs> Uh, it looks like Lasanabi when he wears a dress for fun. It's that. I don't know. I honestly don't know what the fuck that is. Dude, a drag person is just like usually a gay guy who just dresses like a fucking girl for like entertainment purposes. Mostly, it's mostly like a um, it's mostly to like honor like a musician. It's like you know you have like your Aretha Franklin um drag queens and shit. That's pretty much it. What's a drag queen? Don't look it up. It's it's just uh, it's one of the LG HD TV things. Uh -huh. Now you gotta look it up. How long do you think he was like holding that joke in for? It's like uh, James Charles. Sure, not really, but okay. All right, anyways. Um, it's like long sex. I get you. Look, so um, Snigo, I'm um, I'm not homophobic or transphobic, and I I love everyone, and I have a I have a great fucking um space in my heart for people who want to be themselves and express themselves. I love that. I'm all for that. But one thing about me, and I want to know your 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 belief on this. I don't fuck with how cartoons and Marvel movies are starting to push certain agendas agendas um what does that mean i think it's really wrong for a, a kid who has no idea um basically what's fucking what to think they're so fucking young they're super young and mm -hmm. they're and they're getting just shown these fucking weird not weird but just things you should be shown at this certain age like what what are your thoughts on that and the, there needs to be more specific because I have never seen I first of all, Disney movies can be fucking annoying because they'll constantly just like virtue signal and throw shit in there that doesn't need to be thrown in there necessarily. I understand that. Like I'm tired of Disney reboots on things like The Little Mermaid just so that they can make money and make a new black character when they do like absolutely nothing revolutionary to the script, right? That's annoying. Hopefully the Little Mermaid's good and I'm proven wrong about that, but that's the problem. That being said, what are you talking about? The existence of a gay kiss isn't going to make a kid fucking homosexual. Like, that, that doesn't matter. Who cares if there happens to be, like, a gay couple in a fucking movie or a show? That's not the problem. If Disney was coming on and having, like, a 15-minute fucking seminar about, like, the, the, the fucking in-depth 72 genders, yeah, I'd have a problem with that. But if you just see some fucking lesbian girl kiss another girl, who cares? Be an adult and explain to your kid. Why is that girl kissing that other girl? Oh, because two girls can love each other just like we do. Our mommy and daddy love each other. It's not that deep. And if you understand what every single movie, I'm glad that you see that because every single movie now, if you watch Netflix, if you watch any show, if you watch any Marvel movie, it's always female empowerment and the man looking like a dumb idiot. You're okay, right there. First of all, nothing wrong with female empowerment, but sometimes that second part that he said is true, right? Um, it's like a broken clock is right twice a day. There's a problem sometimes where in order to make a female character look strong, 
they will make the male characters that surround them weak. There's nothing wrong with having like a character that's like the butt of a joke or whatever, but sometimes they'll make a piece of media that just makes it so that like all the guys are inept so that the girls look better rather than just making strong male and female characters. That can happen sometimes. Absolutely. That's a problem, right? I understand that. Sure. You're not supposed to be empowered as a man anymore. They want us to be weak because if you control the men, then you let the women run the world. And then well, the yeah, yeah, women don't want to lead, men want to lead. It's all programming. Every That's movie has some sort of propaganda now. Every single movie has a Bro, it's not that deep. They just want money. Like, it's nothing to do with some fucking magical programming to, like, fucking feminize men. That's just cringe, okay? There's no more James Bond. There's no more Jason Bourne. There's no more male superheroes. They've destroyed that and they've empowered women. They, it's part of the programming. I agree. Can they just come out with, like, a Black Adam movie? I agree with you on that. Um... <laughs> Disagree with you. You've agreed with everything so far. I, I, I know. I, I, just, I, just, I, don't, I don't like when people say Aiden is turning into Sneeko. I just, I'm, I'm starting to just wake up. That's all it is. And I'm not saying everything you do and say is. Well, you guys are both dumb. That's probably what people say. That. Like, for example, I, I, I'll be honest, bro. I'm sorry if it's a sensitive point. I, I, I would never, I don't want to have her have. If I was a significant other, I would never want her to, like, basically be fucked in front of me. I'm sorry. <laughs> It wasn't even prompted. He just decided to say that. <laughs> oh, the goblin. What the fuck? Dude, he's going crazy. Oh, my God. If that's pushing, but I, I'm not trying to be respectful. I don't want to have that either. I, I don't. I don't want I that. think that you should see that, and that happened three years ago. Now, I know it's a little bit haram, but I have multiple girlfriends. I know that's not exactly fully Islamic, but, you know, you have to operate in the world like that. Hey, guys. I, hey, guys. I think that we should spread the message of Islam. By the way, um, I have multiple girlfriends, and that's not part of Islam, but I just want to do what I want to do. How are you gonna like make? How are you gonna talk about other people being degenerate when you literally aren't following it? Like follow the if you're gonna be Islamic, follow the religion correctly. Like what the hell? Look at these people; they're like trying to to hide. Damn, innocent guy dead. That was my past. I talked about it on the podcast because I didn't like it. I said on that podcast that it was scarring. You said that everybody should try it. What are you talking about? I mean, you're obviously coping, but you, how are you going to say that you didn't like it if you said that everybody should try it? It's a little bit, a little inconsistent there, buddy. I don't know what you're talking about. People only bring it up because you're disrespectful. So, sorry. But look, you, no, girl, no guy wants to have a girl who's on OnlyFans. No guy wants to get married to a girl that Maybe. does porn. Wasanabi dated a porn. I mean, I'd rather, I rather, like, not for nothing. I feel like I would rather date a porn star than watch my wife get cucked. I, I just like, at least I kind of like, it's just, I don't know. There's just something different about it. Especially if I'm not going to fuck the, uh, like a girl in the room with her. You know, that's the biggest part. That's the biggest thing. I'd rather, like, I, I can't believe you didn't fuck somebody else. Like, wh I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I mean, listen, it was a vulnerable moment. He's just such a disrespectful asshole that it's an easy dunk, you know? Porn star and saw her get fucked on camera. Look, bro, we don't Wait, want to... Wait, Hassan dated a porn star? I didn't know that. He did. Guy calls me a cuck all day, and he was watching his girl get fucked on camera by multiple guys and getting paid for it. So Yo. I find a little bit of... Look, it, is that true? Did Hassan did actually date a porn star? I'm curious. I don't promote that. I said on that podcast. Well, the thing is, is that like the biggest problem with you, Sneeko, is that like you didn't enjoy it. Um, <laughs> if you like being cucked, okay, then God bless you. There's nothing wrong with it. If you like being cucked, I do you. You know what I mean? But if you don't, okay, then, you know. Stones and glass houses, you know what I mean? Hated doing it. People should look at that. Of course, I'm getting made fun of for it, and that's probably good. People should see that and not ever act on that. Use that as an example. One that's thing exactly I will say is this. Okay, please. this this is what I disagree with you on, but I think Damn, yeah, Seiko did it for free. If it's if it's if it's for your religion, I'm gonna be as respectful as I can. I believe in it's one and one. I believe in one significant other. I don't believe in multiple wives, I don't believe in multiple women. I just I, but it depends, I guess. I, I think it depends how you treat them, and I think it depends like how your how your um excuse me, how your culture how your Well, I mean if you treat them like Andrew Tate, they're all gonna be fucking abused. But hey, listen, those girls obviously want to be if both the, if, if, uh, if a bunch of girls want to be dumb fucks and date sneeko despite the glaring red flags hey god bless them culture is but I, if they even exist i, I believe in one I, I don't i don't like i don't know that's all i am well alhamdulillah i think that if you're able to provide for more than one woman and you could take care of them equally then you should be able to have multiple you, you won't be able to really do that lives. But yeah. okay so let me be clear i because i used to be poly and i dated two people actually giving them time and day and attention in an equal way where you actually treat them like equals, which is probably what Sneeko's not doing, is really hard. It's so, it's exhausting. It's difficult. Um, it's fucking exhausting. I don't know what else to say. I'm so, I'm happy, like, as a man to be in a, in a like a one, a one on one relationship. Of course, and this is something that, like, some people won't tell you, like, married men won't tell you, but I, I think that it's good to, oh, boobies. Oh, no, no. <laughs> 
Um, is that like the urges, they don't go away. You know what I mean? But they get easier. And you learn to control them, and it's definitely worth it to control them, you know? Um, but yeah, it's really hard to actually be with. Because I, I feel like most people who are poly, and not all, but most, like they just don't love the person that they're with in any true sense. Because if you did, it's such a distressing experience. To be honest with you, when I was poly for a while, um, that was like the hardest moral... I Because I grew up... Um, I grew up like religious, pretty religious, and like I'm not uh, into like organized religion anymore because I don't, you know, there's lots of things that about it that I don't really like. But like I still have a connection to God, and I remember for months when I first started doing it because I, you know, I was living with, with two girls. I remember having uh, exis like an existential an existential crisis like every day, like uh, almost like uh, you know, deeply considering my relationship to God and if what I was doing was good or bad and if I was going to go to hell, and it was a distressing experience, man. <clears throat> It was just fucked up. It was unfortunate. Um, so, yeah. You have to treat them equally. I got, I got into this debate with Andrew before, um, before, and it was just, it was, it was, uh, it was, it was when I went to meet him in person, he was telling me basically like, I should have never broken up with my ex. I should have basically kept her on like kind of like a, like a, um, a relationship where I still basically had her and I, and I gave her affection from here in time and here and there Police. and let her on basically. I didn't really agree with that. I, I generally believe that when it's time yeah. is over with and I, and I, and I lose feelings to someone or I, I'm going to turn the screen off temporarily here only because I have to do this mini game to get, um, more red orbs and it shows, I don't want to constantly show boobs. I don't really love them anymore. I fought a love or etc. I think you shouldn't really lead them on anymore. I think that's when you kind of should just be like, Hey, like. You know, I love you, and it's always gonna be love. But I think it's time for you know us to go our separate ways, and I think you should leave it at that. And, and that's how I really, really believe that people well, should. No, that can that can work for some people, but the counter to that is how much of that do you think is attributed to your testosterone levels? I think at a certain point that if you have enough energy and you have enough time and you have enough resources to care for more than one woman, there's no problem with that. If you're at a point where you just want to be monogamous, that's fine. But I don't understand what that there's nothing wrong with that. Like who really cares? Sure, but I don't think it has anything to do with testosterone levels. I mean, maybe if you have like a super high sex drive because of your testosterone levels, is that the argument? I don't really understand like who gives a shit it's like it's not that deep yeah i need the red orbs yeah dude you need to get orbs in this game okay don't fuck with me all right it has to do with breaking up with your girl i'm just saying i think okay i get what you're saying i do um wait what did you mean by testosterone level i have a pretty good level actually it's mid 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 mid, mid. well how do you know do you actually get your levels tested like i don't understand my testosterone level i think is like 700 something is that good that's good. That's above average. So yeah, why, why, why did you keep her? I don't understand why you let her go. Uh, okay, so hold on. Listen. Wait, why did these? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Okay, he was just saying testosterone level as like a way to be like, oh, you're a real man. Sussy not super chatty ten dollars. Would you smash your pass boogie two thousand nine hundred and eighty eight? I mean, he has big tits, but um. Okay, listen. If these two actually got their, I'm thirty two. I, I haven't gotten my testosterone levels checked. If they actually got their test levels checked, that sounds wildly insecure to me. Thank you for the, the ten bucks, by the way. But that sounds wildly insecure to me. Like, you felt the need to actually get your test levels checked? Why? That's weird. Listen, listen, man. At the end of the day, man, I, I care a lot about uh, my significant other's heart and, and their general and their general health and mental health and being. Well, I can respect you know, that. I, I would never want to put them in an uncomfortable iceberg and basically iceberg. scatter them away um, from my ceramic lifestyle. And, you know, I, I, I would need to just what separate that stuff about? and basically, you know, unmotionize it because... Ceramic lifestyle? Know, yeah, we didn't work out. And I don't want to leave it, on, leave it on, you know? And that's just what it is, you know? You sure you're not so a little bit in love? Always gonna be love for that person, but no, I'm not. You know, know, it's really good to learn to not to fall in love with girls, um, to get um, to get a trauma by watching the, the woman who you love get cucked by three other guys. No. All right, but go. I mean, we disagree, but I, I think there's still something there. But okay. I mean, wait, you do you? What I find it so weird is that Sneeko, if you, if he's just like, oh, I like to be poly, like whatever, that's fine. But he's trying to ins to suggest that like there's something wrong with you if you want to be monogamous. It's just weird. Do you like Destiny or no? Yeah, he's a good guy. He's, uh, I know you, we probably have the same opinion about him. We disagree about pretty much everything. Destiny has soy boy beliefs, but I like the fact that he can actually engage in a debate. I don't like, like uh, I don't, I don't, I don't like how he calls Andrew rapist, though. I don't like that. Oh, it's because Andrew is. He's lying about that. It's cope because, uh, Andrew and Tristan <laughs> to go against literally everything he believes in. So he uh. needs, he needs, these people don't care about Tate being a sex trafficker. They just hate Andrew. They just need Andrew to be locked up. It has nothing to do with him being an evil person. They don't even care about any of the victims. They're just glad that the fact that Andrew is locked up so that well, their entire belief me. system can't be debunked by one guy now. Gotcha. Uh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, uh, so he's not coming I mean, not for nothing, but up like before Andrew Tate got arrested, like he was already slowly like becoming like less and less uh 
people were kind of seeing through the meme at a certain point. But okay, he's sure. not gonna come on debate. Did he reply to you? Destiny will come on. He said he wants to talk to us. Um, but yeah, nah, man, I, I don't think I'm gonna get more critical. I don't think he's he's gonna be opening to do that, bro. He didn't reply to me. Uh, when I- well, yeah, of course, because he has nothing to gain from talking to Sneeko, and Sneeko's like a fucking idiot. But Destiny, like, listen, I think that part of the motivation. What is happening? Sorry, my computer just had like a poop. I hit him. Anyway, Destiny has like a financial factor and then motivation there. I, I don't know how else to, I don't know how else to explain it. I'm not even trying to criticize the guy, but it's like weird. He'll associate himself with like all these fucking shady figures, like Nick Fuentes and like Mister Girl and shit. Um, and I can't see anything else but like for money. Uh, I don't. I don't really. I don't know. Uh, for the content, I don't know. Hey, whatever. He's ducking, man. He's ducking, bro. I mean, if you duck a fight, that's one thing. Ducking a debate after making a, a video. When I'm banned on YouTube. Like, people are saying, okay. oh, he owned you, he owned I, you. I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm going to be Wait, honest. Sneeko, Sneeko, he, he owned, owned you. you. Just take your L. Listen. <laughs> not, 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 <laughs> Sneeko, he owned you. Listen, just listen. He brought out a whole gun. Bro. <laughs> no, why is he not here? Why is he not here? Maybe he, he, he just why doesn't want to give attention. Maybe I don't know. Listen, it's his only... <laughs> bro, Moist Critical, <laughs> Moist Critical brought out an AK-47, bro, with like six round mag, clip, extended mag, with camos and fucking... Whatever, bro. Like, come on, bro. He did, and he said mags, dumbass. It was just funny. I don't know. I laugh. Mags, mags, clips, and mags? The fuck? Well, actually, it's a mag. That's what I... Let's go and talk about cuties. Let's talk about what you stand for. What I wanted to go and talk to him about is what exactly... I don't... Why live and die on the fucking cuties thing, man? Like, goddamn. Like, how, how good was it that, how good how how good was that movie that you've want to like live and die on this cuties movie sneeko how much did you really like it i mean i i, I you know i it was just a meme to me i was like oh he's just getting like memed on and shit but now i'm starting to think that he might have actually liked it so much because like he really wants to defend that movie like he's he's not like oh no he's misrepresenting me blah 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 he's like i want to talk about it let's have the conversation about it i don't think i don't think anybody why do you want to why why does that resonate with you so much it's fucking weird bro what do you stand for? Aiden, maybe you can answer this question too. Because I've been watching a lot of these people. KSI has been talking shit about me. H- L3, L3. A lot, all these people that I, I watched like back in the day before I was even a YouTuber are now talking shit about me. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. if there's one simple question that I like, never I, answer. I, I like KSI. Wait, go ahead. I like him a lot. He's cool. Fine. What's the question? What do they stand for? They just do their content. Most critical. Most critical but right. This is, this is the point. Nowadays, it's getting harder and harder for men to succeed. The gap is getting bigger. There's more programming than ever. More people are believing in garbage. Yeah, the reason is exclu- it's almost exclusively money. There's just less money to go around. And like people in the upper class are stealing it. You want to know why people are maturing slower? Um, it's simply because the only reason it's happening is because people can't move out of their houses. They can't find jobs to get out of the house. That's the problem. And so thank you so much for the large gut. EDP445. Thank you, Sussy Nut. People can't afford to get out of their houses, so they're growing up slower. We're not, we don't have like wealth. Uh, there's too much wealth inequality. That's the biggest problem. That's why our society is having a problem. That's it. When, when like 30 to 40% of our fucking inflation is due to corporate profits, there's a problem. That's the issue. And like he, the problem is, is that Sneeko just goes, oh, it must be because we don't have enough religion in the world. What? Like, has nothing to do with it. Right? I think people should have a spiritual and moral center. But at the end of the day, it's because people can't afford to live anymore. It's it's tough. That's the biggest problem. And this whole distracting thing where you blame women uh, and a magical matrix on all these fucking problems instead of this is the real problem. The real matrix is rich people. Frankly, like yourself. I mean, if anything, I could just say that like fucking Sneeko is a goddamn psyop that exists to distract us from the real problems. He's a fucking meme. That's really what it comes down to, blaming women instead of the actual people, which are rich people. Who cares if they're men or women? That's the real problem here. Okay? You're the fucking you're the you're the matrix psyop, uh, Sneeko. So you That's cannot true. invest time. Listen, you cannot invest time watching people who do not stand for anything. The reason I like you is because you have a direction for the future now. Your audience is going to grow yeah. and evolve with you. Just yeah, two genders. That's my direction. It's like my audience is going to grow and evolve with me. I've okay. made mistakes, and now I'm going to become the best person I can be. I'm traveling the world. I'm training. I am trying to become the best person. I'm doing push-ups every single day. Oh, I'm telling shit, my audience dude. how to make money. I'm telling them to follow God. They don't talk about that. What's, what, what? How do you make money? Uh, you mean you like sell people like some bullshit like Andrew Tate like uh, scheme, and like you tell them to like extend their money on like fucking... Uh, what was it like fucking nfts and shit right like that's that's your idea of making money 
of like teaching them to make money. Here's a better advice, go guys. If you don't know what you want to do, uh, if you're going to go to college, go for the purpose of like an actual career in mind. And if not, get a tr- go to a trade school because that's a job that will last for a long time. Technology is displacing jobs and it's driving down wages. Um, you should go into technology or trades because trades are very difficult to automate. All right, go into somebody's house. Like everybody's house is generally like different enough where it's very difficult to like auto- automate like doing um, plumbing work. Okay, they're unique enough jobs. They're not mundane enough to be automated right now. So get a job like that. Um, that's what you want to do. Um, and so there you go. That's how you make money. Okay. These like one of a billion fucking like the, nowadays people want to be TikTok stars and this and that. That's the new American dream. It's not a good dream. The American dream should be able to be able to find a job that you can take care of your kids. And if you want to advocate, especially against like the bullshit that's going on in the system with like wealth inequality, you need to get a good job. You need to be somebody that can contribute to society because nobody's going to respect you if you're some like stupid little asshole that like complains on TikTok. Like I have a bachelor's degree in psychology and I can't get any job with it. Like that's let's just loser shit because you can with that. All right. It's the most privileged people who are just lazy that don't want to try to succeed in the system. So that, because so you're only going to be able to change it from the top. Okay. So, yeah, electrician. Awesome. Electrician, plumbing, HVAC, mechanics, um, welding. These are all awesome ideas to get into. They're hard. They'll beat your body up, but they're really good. And if you want to change your career at like 30, you'll have the money to do it. That's really what it comes down to. Jennifer Super okay. shouted eight dollars and eight cents. Oh, thank you, Papa. If you ever want to do a frenemies type podcast, <laughs> please consider me as your Trisha Paytas because okay. I'm beautiful, silly, and fun. Okay, just throwing that out there. All right. Well, thank you for letting me know. I don't know. Uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll keep it in mind. <laughs> but these people that hate on me and you, what do they stand for? Nothing. They have no point of view. They have no political agenda. They have no view of the world. They do not add any value. They spit drama and they talk about reaction videos and they say clip instead of mag retarded shit. And then dude, you literally just make fucking reaction videos. What are you talking about? He he owned you. He did own you. What do you not? not, Like yeah, no. Moist criticals. Like okay, let's be clear. Moist criticals content isn't like there's nothing of particular like. Political, or social, or political value. There, I'm not saying this content's bad. By the way, there's nothing wrong with that, like kind of content. And I'm not saying I'm amazing. Like I'll talk about issues that are more important. That doesn't make me a more important of a person, right? But like, it's a kind of like a cringe thing to be like, oh well, you're not talking about important enough stuff. Like Moist Critical does like YouTube drama shit. Like that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. That that has like entertainment value. Sometimes things can get a little terminally online. Dude, this is pissing me the fuck off with this like fucking counter nonsense. Just fucking suck my balls, bitch. Holy fuck. But that's it. So, like, who cares? You're not talking about, like, the, most of the stuff that you just talk about are how, like, religion is good, even though you don't, uh, religion, uh, Islam is awesome, even though you don't f- actually follow it. And then you virtue signal, talking about how porn and shit's bad. And then you support a guy who literally fucking, like, uh, owns a porn, like, fucking webcam models. Uh, what are you talking about? What, what do you stand for? Because you can't even stand for the religion that you're fucking promoting. You can't even stand for, like, fucking Islam. You're like, yeah, you're not supposed to have a, bu- a bunch of girlfriends, but, like, I don't really care because that's just what I want to do. What do you do? Like, how are you going to sit here and fucking talk about how nobody stands for anything when, like, your whole fucking ideology is being Islamic right now and you can't even fucking adhere to it? It's fucking crazy. It's almost like you're only identifying with the parts that make you feel good. And you're saying fuck it to the parts that don't. It's silly. Not, I'm not saying. I'm not saying that maybe he doesn't have to preach the shit that you preach to your audience or I have to preach. Whatever. That's, that's, that's <laughs> all that. But that's, but that's, but that's, but that's, but that's, but that's for him to decide. You understand? Like, Listen, just because you have a platform doesn't mean you have to preach certain certain shit. It's just, you have to accept that, bro. Like you have to you have to accept that. Like if KSI and we, listen, if KSI wants to make content where people can get away from it and like as a fix and like people can laugh at KSI, let KSI go do that. They're not not everyone's gonna be like you or like I'll say some shit. Like you gotta just respect that. But what I will say is this: what I meant by that moisture will own you. It was, in that clip, he fucking honed you, bro. Listen, it was a funny clip, listen, bro. <laughs> My point is, it's not about them. Of course, they can decide bro. to do that. They can decide to get hold up and never get canceled. I'm canceled off of. Most platforms, I got my Twitter back. Thank you to Elon. But the audience should decide. The reason that he's canceled isn't because of his ideology. Not for nothing, but look at Fresh and Fit. They haven't been canceled. They're still on YouTube. How is it that Fresh and Fit are able to be on YouTube? And you like you think it's because of your ideology. It's not because you're a fucking idiot, right? Like that's the problem. Like literally, it was because you have been like a provocative dickhead. You got a ban for like for fucking sexually harassing a woman on stream, basically. Another content creator, which if this was the real world, you keep talking about fucking real world shit, you would have been fucking fired or at least have to like force to go to like a, a fucking ser- seminar because it's sexual harassment pretending to fuck a girl. And so they banned you, and then after they banned you. Um, you decided to fucking uh, fucking ban evade by posting on your other YouTube channel, and then they fucking banned you. Then they permanently banned you because you fucking like did it. In the, that's what happened. 
Like what are you so you're talking about like there's this like fucking mystery surrounding your band, but there's none. That's it. That's all that happened. Why am I investing time watching garbage that adds no value to my life? My life this is difficult. Sneak they trying to be depressed. Sneak they are trying to program. He's right, though. Um, this is this literally this conversation is fucking garbage and it's not valuable. But hey, we're watching it for the funs, the, the, the lulls, guys. These movies. Wait, listen. So why would I listen to a content creator that doesn't add any value? Why would I listen to a content creator that believes in garbage like Greta Thunberg docks the pizza box and that's why Andrew Tate's locked up? Why should I give credibility to these people? Why should? And this is the reason that I brought up Moist Critical's girlfriend in the first place. She's a two. All respect. Okay. You want to be monogamous? That's fine. That's fine. I'm not trying to say that. Look, that's the life he wants to live. Fresh. You know what's so funny is that like this guy, like the, okay, so I have somebody sent this screenshot to me in my uh, in my in my Discord, and it says from Sneeko. Apparently, this is his Discord. Sick of Abin preached. Send me clips and the memes of all the. Re- <laughs> I sorry, <laughs> all the R slur, uh, and uh, of all the R slur, the shit they've said, like his fat whale wife and Abba milking himself, getting his ass ate. At everybody, even on Rumble, we will beat the soy mentality. Big video coming on all the soy YouTubers. None of them are special. Okay. This guy has a problem with constantly going after people's wives. It should be universally and unanimously understood that you don't fuck with another man's wife. That's it. They're not talking about you. There's no reason to talk about them. That's it. That's like rule number one. And so like you literally aren't a man. I don't know what to tell you. That's just what, how that's just how it all boils down. You can't talk about another man's wife like that and then pretend that you're a fucking man because you're not. That's where we are. He's just constantly doing this dumb shit, pretending that he's a big fucking man. He's a big tough guy. But like, this is why they, like Ab and Preach don't associate with him anymore because Sneeko, when he got banned, despite the fact that Ab it was like constantly like, "Yo, bro, chill out, you're gonna get banned," and we're working, looking out for him. Sneeko like had a fucking meltdown, and then when they didn't, when Ab and Preach didn't make a video about how like he should never got banned, blah blah blah, they said like, "Yo, this guy's a fucking pussy." Like that's pretty much it. That's where we're at. So. Sneeko is a little kid throwing a temper tantrum at everybody who doesn't fucking validate his sense of life. He is a fucking little child on TikTok. That's all he is. He's just a little baby on TikTok. He's the kid that didn't get his way. And now he's fucking crying. It's a temper tantrum. He's been on like a fucking year long temper tantrum. It's childish. There's nothing to respect here. He's acting like a fucking baby. It's pathetic. It's some loser shit. Every fucking day. The Matrix, the Matrix. You're just a kid. Stop acting like a fucking child and grow up. It's boring. It's pathetic. For example, he started roasting Fresh and Fit saying Fresh is a virgin. Fresh is known in Miami for being a playboy. Fresh is Whoa. really like that. And he doesn't understand that. So the first video I saw... He made fun of him because he kept changing his story about how he fucked like three girls in a day. Okay. I'm sure Fresh gets pussy. He has some money. But the guy's... Fuck, he's he's kind of... He's, he's a little cringe when you're sitting there making up stories that are constantly changing about how you fucked like three girls in one night. It's just kind of cringe. It sounds like an overcompensation. Okay. Saw a fresh and fit was Moist Critical saying, Oh, he's a virgin. Oh, he's a virgin. You don't understand okay, real life. Okay. I learned, You're I learned, learned, I learned, I learned, I learned. What? Didn't you just fucking, didn't you call uh, Moist Critical a virgin? Even though he's not? Like, uh, whatever. Oh, I learned something. Let me, let me just tell you one thing. Let me, let me just say one thing. Here's what I learned. Whenever I was going back over the H3H3, H3, I, I once a year ago, I said something about his wife. I feel like when you go at someone's significant other, it's, it's, it's low. Who knows why he's with that person? He's attracted to that person. Let him be with that person. You know wow, so, like, I, I respect that. I respect the uh, the, the growth. So, well, let me finish. <laughs> so I feel like when you go at someone's significant other, it can be extremely low. And I feel like that's the wrong message you're putting out there for your people because they're like, oh, fuck, that means that we should attack their, 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 their significant other. Bro. Here you go. Here I'm you not. Go. No, I'm just. I'm t- Sneeko, I'm just saying, keep it between you and him. Not Don't include his significant other. Hey, 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 this is this is literally Aiden right now. Hey, I'm just like a normal person. Hey, don't go after people's wives. He's 100% right. And then now Sneeko's going to like justify it. Why? Why Why are you such a fucking goblin? I don't understand. You understand? I agree with you. I am talking about his sex life because he... You don't agree with... What are you talking about? You keep going after people's wives and girlfriends. You don't agree with him at all. What do you... Like, if you're going to... Like, if you're going to be a little dickhead that talks about people's wives, at least like own it when people call you on it. Like, what a pussy. I don't understand. Repeatedly talks about mine. You're going to go and obsess over my past and what I did in the past. Okay, let's talk about your present. You're still monogamous with the two. The first time I heard about Fresh and Fit was him calling him a virgin, talking about Fresh's sex life. If you want to invest time and criticize... I mean, it sounds like you really want to fuck Fresh and you're desperate to fucking defend him at any cost. People for their sex life. The reality is, is that... Hey, thank you so much for the upgrade to large gut, Jennifer. Um... The wife thing, like, I want you to be very clear here. 
Sneeko's looking for a reason to go after Moist Critical for fucking attention. That's all it boils down to. And like all this other shit, like like fresh and fit and uh, his wife and blah, blah, blah. There's nothing to do with it. Sneeko is just trying to cut farm off of a popular person so he can stay relevant because he's fucking, dude, there's so many boobies in this game. Holy shit. I would hit that though. I'm not going to lie, bro. Okay. Even if, even if that is only a two out of 10, I would still hit that. Okay. Then we should analyze yours too. Why should I listen to you if you're with an unattractive girl that's, that you're monogamous to? I don't want why is she unattractive? I don't understand. Like she's cute, and plus, not for nothing, but like a phys like physical attractiveness isn't the only thing that matters. She's not unattractive, but there's a lot of other things that, ha that matter. This is the problem when you have like little kids that have never been in like actual healthy relationships talking about what it means to be in a relationship, um, like Sneeko. Like, of course, it's gonna be a fucking problem here, but you don't really know what it is to be in a, like a decent, healthy relationship. Ugh! Shit. To that. He talks about it first. These soy boys, we never go at them first. They always criticize us. And then when I fire back with the same thing, it's like, well, don't talk about it. All right, then stop talking about my personal life. Let me grow. Let's look at the present. I, I, I get what you're saying. I actually, I actually see your argument there. I see it. I'm not going to lie. I wish, I wish I could see you both talk. I really want to see like both sides. You know, well, he's ducking. He, he, you're saying they owe me, but he's ducking right now. We, we can admit that. I think, I, think part of, I, think, I, think part of, I think part of the reason it could be also that I'm, I'm banned on Twitch and you're banned on Twitch. So he's streaming on Twitch. If he were to stream our stream, or my stream he'd get banned. Oh, so I, think, I think that might be a reason. I'm on rumble.com slash I'm not streaming right now. I'm talking on Kick, a gambling platform. Yes, not just a gambling platform, okay? Kick is, Kick, Kick is blowing Rumble out the water. Sorry, it is. No, it's not. No, yes. it's not. Hey, we just signed three big people. Huge. <laughs> well, of course, Kick's actually. Yeah, why would it make sense that Kick would actually blow them out of the water? Because it was made by fucking, uh, what's his face? Dude, this is just annoying. Huge! Huge! And guess what, Sneeko? We'll get you next, bro. We'll get you next, okay? You come over here. Listen, listen. No, he's not. No, he's not. Listen, we'll get you over here. We'll get, um, we'll get Tate over here. We'll get everyone over here. Listen, what is this? Fuck that shit. What is, fuck Twitch. Okay, anyways. Listen, real shit. I respect what Rumble's doing. You gotta respect Kingston. Cool. Whatever, listen. I want to add Destiny here because I really want to. I really want to see, uh, you know, this. I want to see some disagreement, and I want to see some. He's going to represent the soy mentality. He's going to step in for Moist because Moist Wars doesn't want to come in. No, I want. Have you ever met Train Rex? Briefly one time in a, in a Destiny. He seems like a cool guy. I love Train. He's honestly one of the best people. I swear to God, he is. Yo, yeah, let's go to stuff. Um, but yeah. Uh, all right, let me see if I can get Destiny here. All right, do what, we want to watch? Because there is. <laughs> 26 minutes left here, but Destiny has 31 minutes here, so I want to watch Destiny's thing. Don't talk about it! Because you know what? Let's sneak up! We're gonna switch to this one. Let me answer, wait, let me answer. Bro, is he fake? Ninja, 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 shut the f- Do you like Destiny or no? Yeah, he's a good guy. He's, he's uh, I know you, we probably have the same opinion about him. We disagree about pretty why? much everything. Destiny- Oh, that's why. Okay, we're just gonna continue on the other one. Set it, set it. So like I said, bro, the thing is, I have no problem with you, and I don't- Hold on, get Destiny here. Chad, is this gonna hit yes or no? Oh god, Trade's the best. I swear to god he is. Trade is actually goat. Hey Destiny! Oh my god, the circle jerk in here. You guys' room must be up to your knees and come right now. How you doing? <laughs> doing? I find it ironic that Destiny always says that when you are actually openly bisexual and like penis. It seems I could have swore Sneeko talked about how he liked fucking guys. Like I swear to god, this guy's talked about how he's how he's fucking bisexual too. Weird to use the homosexual, the homophobic insult and you actually you I, 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 no, don't disrespect Wait, can we actually talk about that? Why do Destiny? Why do people insult me? No, no, no real shit. They call me homophobic. No, no, Destiny. In general, Destiny. In general, your group, your your people, like you know, like like the the blue hair, blue fingernails, like the you know the he him or whatever on on Twitter, the they them. You guys always will basically call me homophobic, but you guys will insult me for being gay with Andrew. It makes no sense to me. What, what, why is it so? I, no, I want to understand. Yeah, Sneeko, like you know what I'm saying. Chat, you know what I'm talking about. Y'all always do that. Why? Why? Because it's not about an ideology. It's about bringing down the essence of masculinity. They don't actually believe. I, I think it really um, has to do with the biggest thing is that like he's just giving out like his hot takes just for like um and like like the whole two genders thing was just like a hot take. It wasn't like nuanced or intelligent or anything. It was just meant to get that list response. Like that's the response you wanted to get. That's why you gave the response. Um, but okay. Even the stuff they just think they're taught and brainwashed to think that alpha male toxic masculinity alpha is a bad male. thing. Do you guys ever take a step back and act like humans? What kind of answer is Destiny? That? Address the pedophile <laughs> allegations. Yeah, Address yeah. the pedophile what? allegations. What? Yeah. You pedophile. No, what the fuck? Wow, the most unfunny moment of my whole life. Holy shit. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay. Destiny. For, like, for a lot of the clips that are coming out, being that disrespectful towards Muhammad is a wild thing to be talking I think I am going to go to Destiny's video only because they have horrible audio. So You're I'm going gonna, to like I'm going to just like kind of fast forward up to the point where Destiny comes in. And here we go. Too, because I've been watching a lot of these people. Hey, Unattractive girl that's that you're monogamous to. Just blowing rumble. Be up to your knees and calm right now. How you doing?
that? Why? There we go. Why? Well, because it's not about an ideology. It's about bringing down the essence of masculinity. They don't actually believe in this stuff. They just think they're taught and brainwashed to think that alpha male toxic masculinity is a bad thing. Do you guys ever take a step back and act like humans? What kind of answer is Destiny, that? address the pedophile allegations. Uh, yeah, address yeah, the pedophile yeah. allegations. Damn, we got to relive this fucking cringe moment. Yeah. You pedophile! Oh, no, I'm kidding. Okay, hold on, hold on. Why even say that? Like, what a fucking, what the fuck? Okay. Is crazy. No self for, for, for a lot of the clips that are coming out, being that disrespectful towards Muhammad is a wild thing to be talking about incessantly on Twitter. Sneeko, okay. can you give me one verse from the Quran you like? Yeah, I can. Go ahead. No. <laughs> Okay, that's what I thought. Don't talk about it. Because you know what? That's funny. Yo. Let me answer. Wait, let me answer. Yo, is he fake? Yo. Can I answer, can I answer, can I answer can you can I, Aiden's question from earlier? He yes. said, why do people make fun of you for being gay? Obviously, people just try to hit people where they hurt, where it hurts. That's all people go for. So if people think you're homophobic, they're going to make gay jokes at you. Oh, that's okay, okay, okay. Oh, that was what Tearing down masculinity. I do think it's a little ironic, though, because the people calling Aiden gay the most, the people in his own community, like Saluminati, who were like trying to make it seem like uh, Aiden is just like a fucking uh, government plant to try to feminize men. Um, so a little bit, a uh, little irony, a little irony there, a little ir irony. And using the matrix to destroy all of it. It's just a simple thing. That's usually what people do. Okay, if you're about them, they'll make fun of you for fair it. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. Now look, Destiny, I'm not 100% saying you're a pedophile, by the way. I want to make that clear. But there are some clips where I saw and I was what? like, all right, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Basically, you said a clip, that, quote me if I'm wrong or quote me if I'm not wrong. I don't really know how that shit, that expression works. You know what I mean? Listen, yeah. you basically said something where like, <laughs> you said, uh, if a man watches child porn, he is less likely to be a, uh, a child rapist or some shit like that. First of all. Oh, okay. okay. So I understand what the take is going to be. The idea is that, like, if he looks at the porn, he's less likely to act on his impulses and, like, molest a child, I guess. Um, I kind of disagree, though, I feel. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like... Okay, so the logic is, let's say somebody has, like, I guess they're a pedophile or something, and they look at child porn, it'll reduce their urges. I mean, that makes sense, but I feel like in a long-term capacity, you're just allowing them to, like, feed into that feeling, and it's just going to continuously grow until you eventually molest a child. So I feel like I just disagree with that point. Because then what we're saying here is that the, the, the solution to pedophilia is to let d d pedophiles look at child porn. So, I, but okay. I can, that shouldn't even be, yeah. Why did you even, can you explain? Yeah, if you, if you really want to go down that road, there was a clip from a debate where a guy asked me, an actual pedophile called Amosi, who's arrested, by the way, I think now, for either f***ing a minor or trying to f*** a minor. Jesus. He asked me, is there ever a case where child might be okay? And I said, I don't know. I guess maybe if you watch it instead of f***ing a kid, it might be okay. Right. That was the only thing. I don't even know if that's oh, true, okay. though. I don't know if watching child porn makes you less likely to rape children. Oh, okay. So in context, it's not that I, I don't know if there's research it's on that. weird. What did you say in that clip, though? I don't know. Go f*** find it. This baby's like eight years old. Oh, that was, that was years ago? What about you said that molesting somebody doesn't count molesting a child doesn't count as pedophilia? What? No, what I geez, you guys Oh my god, I already know what it's gonna be. What he probably said was that not all child molesters are pedophiles. Which is true. Right? Um some people are like attracted to like the um they're attracted to like the power that they can have over a child. It's a very interesting concept. Um, I talk to my wife about this sometimes. It's very interesting because you know she's a behavioral specialist for adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities. You can add that to the bingo card, motherfucker. So we have like these kind of conversations. It's a bizarre. It's it's interesting. Uh, there's still a child molester, by the way. There's still a bad person, but a pedophile is like a mental health diagnosis. So they aren't necessarily. It doesn't really matter because you still get charged the same. You know, being diagnosed a pedophile doesn't have any impact on what you get arrested for if you molest a child. So it's just interesting. Um, it's not a defense of these people. It's just like a, it's just an interesting like thing to think about. That's it. It's just like oh, interesting. It's it's just an, it's really just interesting from like a mental health perspective, just like kind of exploring and understanding the way that like different things or different interactions happen. That's it. It's always clip from these big conversations. There is a crime stat where when it comes to people that abuse <laughs> underage children, everybody thinks these people are pedophiles, which isn't necessarily true. What happens is, is people abuse people. What? <laughs> if you if you touch a kid, you're a pedophile. What? It's that's it. Okay. Yeah. What, what is what speed do you need to bring up to yeah, go? I really like to need to explain this. Or point. justify molesting a kid. Nobody's justifying molesting a kid. This is how fucking dumb this guy is. Nobody's justifying it. It's still just as wrong. Just to be very clear, it's not a justification. That's pedophilia. What? There, okay, where you got justifying molesting a kid, molesting children is wrong. So what I was going to say is, is that a lot of the people that abuse children are people that are just in positions of power of them. So like babysitters, teachers, priests, these are people that I think the Australian crime stats show that like 10% of them have a history of like pedophilic tendencies, but the other 90% are just in a position of power of the kid and they end up molesting them. But it's not like uh, only pedophiles molest their kids. But it's important to keep in mind because it's not like only pedophiles can abuse children. You might get babysitters, teachers, clergymen or whatever other weird people that will just do it because they're in that position and they take advantage of it. That's so if you, molest a kid, if you molest a kid, you're not a pedophile? That's not what he's saying. He's... It... 
<laughs> what magic does Sneeko think happens if you get like if you get diagnosed being a pedophile? Like you'd still get arrested for molesting the child. It doesn't matter. Like I don't, I don't understand. I, it depends on the age. I don't know if you're 21 no! and molest a 17 year old. Are you a pedophile? <laughs> bro, bro, bro. Hold on a second. Well, no, you wouldn't be a pedophile if a 17 year old. What do they call it, like an ebophile or something? Like yeah, dude. Oh, in some age states, it's like an age of consent, so it's weird. We should really get that all to 18. What do you mean it depends? No, it doesn't. It's really fucked because there's something like, oh, it's 16. And that, that just, uh, signals people that, like, oh, this is okay then. And I have, it's like, it shouldn't be. But It doesn't depend. Where is this epic? Where is this just I like how these guys, this is the guy who is defending the cuties movie. <laughs> And he's the one like not, and he's the one like having a, like oh no, and he's the one that's like, having like this pretend moral outrage right now. Like you're sitting, you're talking about stats and statistics, and then he gives you a stat that's like yeah, no, like you know this is a thing, and it's like an interesting, it's a it's an interesting factoid. That's all it is, and they just can't cope with this because they're just fucking like I don't I don't get it. Listen, there is no, there is no, there is no, there is no, there is no justification for ever molesting a kid. Ever. Nobody's saying that. That's how fucking stupid you are. Who's saying that? Like, are you, are you dumb as shit? Like, I don't understand. I'm not, I'm not understanding. This is from the guy who th like, thinks that there's justifications to sex traffic because he refuses to believe Andrew Tate's a sex trafficker, trying to fucking morally grandstand over fucking pedophilia when nobody in the fucking room is saying that pedophilia is okay or child molestation is okay. All they're saying is that, um, it's not just pedophiles who molest children. Sometimes non-pedophiles do it too. Sometimes it's about the position of power more than it's about like actually having like a fucking attraction to children. And they're just fucking disgusting animals out there that like to fucking prey on vulnerable people. That's all that he's saying. He's not like, I, I don't understand. It's not really that difficult of a concept to understand. Ever. No, just, so you, you don't think you should ever sexualize like a 15 or 16 year old ever? What? I know what you're going to do. I know what you're going to do. Yes, you should never. No, no, oh, never. Okay. So Wait. Like, what do you guys think about the tapes DMing like Romanian women that are like 15 years old to try to get them on their campsite? <laughs> they came from a Instagram verified account. So what Damn. do you think about the tapes, Tristan Tate DMing? One of them was the daughter of a Romanian politician DMing 15, 16 year old girls to get them on their website. Jesus. Let's hear the coat. Go ahead. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. What the fuck? Daria Gusa was 16 and still in school when she says that uh, that she received a private message on her Instagram from Andrew Tate, high profile influencer, almost 20 years older than her. It's just read Romanian girl. Uh, and he put some flirty emoji. Daria told, uh, Daria told me I was confused because I only had 200 followers and it was a private account. She's one of two teenagers who have described to the BBC how Andrew Tate and his brother Tristan approached him online, apparently using a standard formula. It was obvious we were in high school, girls, Darius said. We had our high school and our bio and everything. I think he was just trying to find girls who were as innocent or as naive as possible, in my opinion. She showed us a screenshot of the message, which she never replied to, but she says some of her friends did. Holy shit. Dude, that's actually, is that not grooming? <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, how do you justify this? Dude, holy fuck. This is why, this is why, like I say, when people like debate like Nick Fuentes, does, I would never, this is no point for, of me doing that. Like when, look at the shit that Destiny like pulls out of his fucking balls. Like, holy fuck. I mean, you have to respect it. That's insane. I didn't even know about this. There's so much shit. Fuck. That's why I have to stick to just watching videos about poop. Jesus. Is there proof that they know the age? I don't know. I thought. What? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it says we obviously were high school girls. We had our high school in our bio and everything. You guys said 15, 16 years always pedophilia. Didn't but you? if they, but if they find out, if they find out, yeah. What if what? Let's hear the coke. It's Sorry, the and, like when you when you ask him a question that he thinks he knows the answer, he'll just laugh at the ceiling instead of answer. It. <laughs> Did he know the age? I don't know. I'm yeah. asking you. No, I'm, laughing. Just, I'm, I'm, laughing. I'm laughing because Aiden Ross, because I saw your stream like two weeks ago, where you were laughing at me, where I said in a clip, some 15 and 16 year girls look like they're 20, 21 years old, and you're like, oh my god, that's so pedophilic. But now you're you're saying like, well, I don't know, maybe 15, 16, maybe they look kind of older because daddy. No, like, hey, you said to me. Yeah, some 15, 16 year old girls do look like they're older. Um, and this is a whole thing. So like if you look at somebody like, oh, they're attractive and you find that they're 16, it should instantly trigger in your head like, oh shit, like, nope. You know what I mean? Because sometimes you'll unintentionally, like you might look at like a 16 year old and be like, oh, that might hurt, so it might be cute. The second you find that age, oh, nope, it shouldn't be. Like it should trigger in your head like this is disgusting because it's not just about the physicality. It's about like what the fucking is the mental state of that person. That's that's what that's that's like a huge part of it. Like once you feel like, oh shit, that's a huge issue. You know what I mean? It's like, God damn. Yeah, no, no. you said you exactly said you said crazier exactly shit than that. that. You said crazier shit than that, bro. Nah, I, exactly I, I, I'm about to get these clips. Yo, Chris Bell, send me the clips. You just said that molesting a kid doesn't mean you're a pedophile, and now he shifts it to this. Yes, that 
Okay, doesn't mean that it's not is that it's okay. He's not saying it's okay. And now you guys are justifying Andrew Tate fucking DMing sixteen year old girls and trying to groom him. So right, that yeah. has nothing to do with what he see. This is this is his debate, his snaky debate tactics. Where he'll, he'll get- it's not really snaky. I, my favorite thing is is that one like because this isn't a snaky debate tactic. This is just like really simple stuff. Like Destiny's not saying anything super profound. He asked him a simple question. And they can't answer it. It's not. I, it's my favorite thing is always that like when it comes like it's always a snaky debate tactic from people when it's like not even like this crazy like it's just like a, a question of like cognitive dissonance. It's not like a huge thing. The snaky debate tactic asking me a basic questions about Andrew Tate trying to groom children. Well, I say that you shouldn't groom children. Like, holy fuck. You shouldn't like the guy then. Get cornered for saying some wild shit like molesting a kid is, is not, doesn't make you a pedophile and then make it about Tate. Not a wild thing. If you want to walk through the conversation, we can do it. What do you think a pedophile is? Yeah, so like from a, from a, like a DSM-5 uh, perspective, I believe, if I can remember correctly, uh, a pedophile is somebody who is, I believe it is 16 years or older who has had a consistent sexual attraction to children uh, 13 and under for a period of six months plus, and the age difference must be five years. So if it's a 16 year old, it'd have to be 11. Uh, you understand the point that I'm making. That would be technically like a diagnosable pedoph- pedophile. I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. Um, I was like looking at it the other day with my wife because like, oh, again, she's a behavioral specialist. So this is the kind of like shit that we talk about. Um, somebody who's attracted to kids. Yes. Somebody who's attracted to prepubescent children. That's what a pedophile is technically. What's right. that's what, that's what, wait, said, guys. You said to if, if a 29 year old is a 16 year old, that's not technically pedophilia. No, it's not a pe- technically pedophilia. It's still wrong, but it's not technically pedophilia. Sure. Not a child. It's just what somebody who's a minor. Bro, okay, this is this is like a, a gross conversation that like infects a lot of people's mind with garbage. Instead of doing this debate, instead of gaming for ten hours a day, Destiny, why do we have been on here for twenty percent right now? We can debate about. Yeah. Pe- I, I'm not understanding. Like this is like the the profound amount of immaturity to not be able to handle this conversation should be fucking embarrassing to these people. This is embarrassing. Like they can't have a basic conversation. They can't have a high school level conversation without yo. Like, what are you doing? It's fucking insane to me how immature these people are. I just don't get it. It's I would be fucking embarrassed if I was these people. Just yelling. That's the entire contents. Like, holy fuck. Yes. Justify molesting kids. All Nobody's day. justifying Wait, wait. <laughs> Sneeko, stop. Stop. The reason Sneeko has to go so hard on Destiny on this is because he has no like intelligible argument. So he has to continuously do this because he knows he looks like an idiot for justifying Andrew Tate being a fucking, uh, fucking sex trafficking groomer. Stop. Destiny, Destiny. What the fuck did you just say? Repeat that statement. What the, what the fuck is he talking about? No. Can we do some push ups? No, no way. Just getting filled up with these weird ideas from it's destroying the youth. I'm sick of blue hair mentality. Now, 20 push-ups right now, chat. Oh, wait, I, 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 I want to say, say one thing. Hold up, wait, hold up, sneak, hold up. We're going to do that, but hold on. <laughs> Destiny, what do you think about the woke left artists like Lil Nas X, Cardi B, sexualize young girls, promote their agenda on kids? Isn't that technically worse than... Um, if that's what they're doing, yeah, it's obviously bad. That's pretty bad. This is the problem. It's like, absolutely. Music today is too sexualized and it's too violent. I know I sound like a fucking boomer, but it's absolutely true. What really bothers me, though, is that nobody actually gives a shit about it until it's dra- until it's fucking drag queens doing it to like uh, dancing in front of kids. It's like, oh, if it's a fucking, if it's some a person that's like having a negative influence and over sexualizing themselves at like a concert, showing their pussy and their ass off at a fucking girl, like a young girl in the concert, that's so, like nobody can, will say a word about it. But the second it's happening, for a, a gay guy's dressing up and doing the same thing, all of a sudden, oh, this is an issue. Both of them are problems. It's fucking crazy. And nobody, like, the, it, it's it's all, like, when it comes to that 16 year old girl, it's just, or when it comes to those uh, fucking music artists, it's like, ah, whatever. But when it comes to the fucking. When it comes to this drag person, they're a fucking grooming pedophile somehow. It's like this magical, insane. They're both wrong and it's proportionately the same. All drag is usually is imitating popular music artists. That's how it's always been. Okay, back when they were imitating Aretha Franklin, this wasn't a problem. Now it's a problem. And like what Tate's doing in your eyes or no? Be honest. I, is it, I don't know how I compare it. I mean, sexualizing young children is probably never a good thing. I don't think. Well, yeah, that's what I'm going to ask you. So I'm asking you, what do you think about Lil Nas X, Cardi B? You know, those- I listen, I don't want to comment on them particularly because I haven't watched their shit. I don't know what they do. Like if you're telling me they're sexualizing Culture. children, I'm against sexualizing children. I don't know if they're sexualizing children. If they are, then I obviously I'm opposed to that. They're well, playing sexual music videos for a child audience on TikTok. That's- well, they're not playing it for a child audience. They just... They just happen to children. Or, like they don't make their music and go, I hope 13 year olds jerk off to this or something. They just make their videos and then like it happens to be very popular amongst children or not even very popular. It became like a fucking TikTok audio. 
showing sexual images to kids. Uh, I guess. It, it should, does, what does that mean? Like, are, like, are they like saying like, hey, we want children to watch this? Or are you just saying they're putting out like twerking on TikTok and some children watch it on TikTok? Twerking. Those, sex twerking on the devil goes number one trending on YouTube. This is what they, these are marketed towards children. They make TikTok songs for satanic <laughs> music. Okay. Oh, I don't know where Satan came from. Holy shit. Sex twerking on the devil and number one trending. What do you mean? That, that's literally satanic music. Fucking, right. uh, whatever the, the. Yeah. I mean, listen, I don't, I'm not usually upset with gay people when they, when they, uh, when they, don't like God, you know what I mean? Because uh, some people will use God to justify taking their rights away. So I really don't care. But they okay. do the they them went on Grammys and started doing a satanic song with the, the horns. He had a whole devil audience around him. The whole song is about something unholy. You're laughing, but it's true. Look it's true. at the video, and then right after it's sponsored by the vacuum. That's something you can't even talk about YouTube. About you might get a strike for saying that. But right after they show <laughs> and a video, they it's sponsored by the. It's all part of the same. Oh, what is he saying? I don't know. Same thing. Saying. Something that you can't talk about. You talk is about it, pedophilia for 30 minutes. You won't talk about, about real issues. These I, people are getting blood clots on the. Right. The only thing I can't talk about right now is anything because you guys are screaming incessantly. If you want to talk about one particular thing, that's fine. But I can't deal with the bot programming of 52 different. Uh, uh, you just went like look at look at the look at the path we just went. We went from pedophilia to little nos to Satanism to the in like two breaths. What is he? What is he muting? I'm so confused. To what? path we just went we went from pedophilia to little nos to satanism to the to the what you just went like look at the, look at the look at the path. i'm just curious if i can't get this i'm just gonna move on path we just went we went from pedophilia to little nos to satanism to the i have no idea what it was in like two the vaccine what if you want to why is that censored what i'm so confused if you See the blue head, that's every that's all your beliefs you want to talk about a particular thing? We could talk about a particular thing, but you're just like you're you're going through like your entire programming, all of your code in like 52 seconds. Okay, like we're doing a code review right now. You're talking about how pedophiles don't molest children anymore. That shit is affecting all. That's of not what he was saying. He was just okay. Aiden's kid, the, the stream is watching, and you're filling them up with these weird ideas, man. Exactly. It's not okay to molest kids. Any, no one touch kid. Do, why do you think it's okay to molest kids? You said that you're not a pedophile if you molest kids. What? He said that you're not necessarily one. It doesn't mean that it's an okay thing to do. What part of that says it's okay to molest kids? Bro, justifying that to any extent Who's is nobody's just justifying anything. <laughs> what did I justify? You said that if you molest a kid, it doesn't necessarily mean you're a pedophile. How does that justify it? It's still wrong to molest children. I don't understand. Um, does that people, make it okay? Bro. Hold on. Is it is it pedophilia is bad and everything that's not pedophilia is okay? If I say like murdering somebody doesn't make you a pedophile, does that mean I justify murder? If you can't handle the conversation, that's <laughs> fine. But then just don't talk about it. Don't virtue signal to me like every blue haired fuck on the internet would to show how good they are about. <laughs> Jesus. Like, that's what you're doing now. You're virtue signaling. I don't want to. I don't hear virtue signaling. I don't want to hear virtue signaling. If you want to talk about the issue or crime stats or what makes somebody pedophile, we can talk about that. Don't virtue signal me. Do that in front of eight. Oh, right, right, ninja, 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 ninja. Shut literally up. Literally hitting the O button. And it won't grab. Dude, I'm hitting the fucking O button and it won't fucking grab. Holy fuck! There we go. Sorry. This game is a little. Uh, it's a little dated. Sorry. Didn't mean to yell. Just kept grabbing as you see, and it made me a little, I got a little triggered, like a fucking blue-haired liberal. Oh, yelling, and then goes and yells and goes on a rant for five minutes. You see how it'd be like, stop yelling, and then I'm gonna start yelling, and then I'm gonna start yelling, bro. In Dubai, in the Middle East, the pedophiles, there's no conversation, bro. They just get stoned. They just get, they just okay. get excommunicated from society. Be. That's how it should be. That's how it should be. We shouldn't say that. Oh, we're watching child porn's okay if it makes you feel better. Nobody said that, so. No stones. Get the rocks. Bro, Done. in a country like Dubai, if the world was ran that way, people like us country. wouldn't fucking exist. Thank you, Dubai UAE. City. Yes, UAE. I got you. Thank you. Do you want to deal with it? Everybody. I got you. I got you. Everybody in the world, like the, 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 the Gulf states, us three wouldn't exist. You realize that, right? We would be murdered. Art and entertainment would be largely banned. Within three, we're doing some push-ups. You want to do some push-ups? You go first. I'll go second. Destiny, stop game and do it too. You want to do some push-ups, Destiny? I'll, I'll watch you guys do it, okay? No, you have to do some too. I, my camera's on a fucking stand. I can't move oh, my shit. So is mine. I'm gonna, pull, I'm gonna aim my camera down. We're gonna all do them. That's it. Okay, Sorry, I'm guys. watching you guys. Okay. Are you gonna do it with us? Yeah, in spirit, okay? No, he's gonna game incessantly. I didn't realize that the game froze. True. Wait, they're saying it's cringe if we do this. No, wait, really? Yeah. Three yeah. bros on a fucking webcam after discriminating each other and jerking each other off for 30 minutes, doing push-ups and grunting in front of each other is gay? Well, what, no shot. Wait, what do you think about, what do you think about <laughs> porn? Uh, I, porn is awesome. Just don't abuse no, it. Don't use it too much. Yeah, this is. I can't. They're saying cringe and shit. I don't know. Damn. Bro, you suck, man. Uh, yeah, let's talk about pet styles more. Yo, get your dick out of the camera, bro. <laughs> Actually, you can, you can bring it back in. No, I'm kidding. Wait, okay, so look, um, Destiny. Yeah, what's up? How old are you again? Uh, 34. All right. Well, as a 34 year old with blue hair, uh, how do you um roam the earth? You know, knowing that a uh, 
there are people that are full leftists that are promoting a very wrong agenda and it corrupted a uh, corrupt it's corruptcy because it, it's what he's trying to say it's corrupted or something it's a bad corruptcy agenda what is he saying cuck pussy i don't understand yeah i'm not gonna go i'm probably not gonna buy into that framework right that the left is promoting a bad agenda and whatever weird shit's going on here is a good agenda you, you understand <laughs> i'm not gonna agree with that right Okay, then why do you think that the left cannot engage in the debate? Why do you think that I should be debating Moist Critical right now and you're the only blue hair that will engage in these conversations? Wait, why is anybody question Marx? Uh, so they don't have the power. They don't want to argue with people on the left. They don't want to argue with people on the right. It's just the way of the world. I guess that makes sense. Uh, I would say that there seems to be people on the left that are arguing with people now. Um, but okay. Nobody likes to, to sacrifice their position, right? We talk a lot about. I'm sure there's plenty of like leftists that would love to talk to Sneeko. Um, I'm not one of them, but I'm sure like fucking there's plenty of like Hunter Avalons of the world and shit would love to have a conversation about all this shit. Um, he just doesn't want to have a conversation with it because the reality is is that he just wants to talk to somebody that will give him like exposure. Um, and that but if those people don't want to talk to him because they don't feel like platforming a fucking moron. So. <laughs> virtue signaling but these people instead of having an argument they always go to you're transphobic you're homophobic you're racist you're uh, misogynist you're a sexist you're a pedophile yeah, yeah, yeah. like you just did for like 10 minutes you guys are all the same you realize <laughs> right? okay like, destiny you destiny you just said it you just said you just said you just said something like if i'm 20 years old it's about a 16 year old bro say what you said again you said about two say it say it again say it again say what you said about the Oh shit, bro! You said something about a twenty-some-year-old and a sixteen-year-old. You said some what? shit, bro. I asked you if it was wrong. So I was curious how you felt about the takes DMing fifteen, sixteen-year-olds get on their porn website. <laughs> oh, you don't have a strong opinion on it anymore, bro? Bro, <laughs> come on, dude. bro! I can't, bro! I can't, bro! Didn't, didn't Tristan brag about fifteen-year-olds and taking their virginity? I mean, come on! And he knew she was fifteen. He said fifteen, like. Dude, that's such a crazy. That's such a crazy thing to say, bro. It's I mean, is that? Can we find that? This is where he he brags about this, like fucking. What the fuck? Even crazy to you, bro. Sex trafficking to Tristan DM the girl one time. You go and say that he's trafficking women. He's stealing her from countries. He's stealing her passports. And then all of that gets debunked. The WhatsApp messages come out. What got debunked? Nothing got debunked. What are you talking about? And show that these women wanted to go spend Nothing is getting debunked. What are you talking about? All these victims have been exposed. All the victims that said That's that they were true. trapped. Nobody's been exposed. You're just making shit up. All the victims, all the victims who said Bro. that they were trapped in the house, there's CCTV footage of them walking in and out of the house, getting Uber Eats, going there's shopping. Not, do, you think, do you see how you do this thing where when you realize you don't have an argument, you just keep like vomiting out a million points? Every single thing you're saying has been proven to be not true. The CCTV footage... Hold on, Shay. From acting on, from what I've read, apparently men that are given access to child pornography have a higher chance of not actually committing um, pedophilia. Why did this randomly show up at this point? Actions in real life, and I would argue that that would be a moral good. That if you can prevent people from acting on those urges, that's something that should be explored. For dude, what the fuck? Or like a 21 year old, 22 year old, like there are some 15, 16 year old chicks that like look pretty. High. Like I can't, I can't. Yeah. Child pornography. <laughs> that's kind of a different thing. Um, there's like moral versus pragmatic sides of that. Again, I believe what he's trying to say because destiny sometimes just doesn't really uh, appeal to sensitivity. Is that there are 15, 16 year old girls that sometimes people like men will be attracted to without realizing. But once they find out their age, it's an instant turnoff as it should be. There are like fucking 15 year old girls who look like they're like 25. Um, but like if you're still attracted to them once you find out that they're 15, you're a fucking disgusting animal because like it's about what's in their head more than anything else. Just like there's that 23 year old girl who looks like a fucking 12 year old, but it's not really an issue to fuck her. But I mean, not that I would want to because she's a grown adult with like a fucking mental capacity of an adult. That's the bigger issue. That's literally it. Ugh. I've seen a little bit of evidence on the pragmatic side, and it, it seems like an uh, like an OK thing. I probably shouldn't say that. Or yeah. I explained to my daughter incest is wrong. Is it actually wrong? Dude, I remember this incest thing. Destiny's like, he was like, yeah, we used to debate incest all the time for less, like things to do 10 years ago. Such a bizarre thing. I'm saying that they're going to go and fake crocodile tears and sell this story to Netflix and Hulu. The Wait, what happened? messages that had the fake crocodile tears were part of messages that were cut from a larger group of messages that showed the girls were going to make up a lie so they could escape the tates. And it was one girl that wanted to bring another. Yep, and even though in those cut up messages, they even said, oh, I think we'll be able to leave. Because um, the Tates are convinced that we're in love with them, so they think we'll come back. Even in that, like, cut, uh, cut up out of context shit, it was still, like, it still doesn't prove that, like, it, it still shows that they were fucking sex trafficked in some capacity. Another girl out as well, but she thought that if she faked cry to them, she'd be able to escape the compound. Those whole messages got leaked, not the two pages that you saw, but there's like a whole, like, four or five page thing of it. None of this has been debunked. All of this is fake that you're, that you're talking about. Wait, can I ask you a question? There's yeah, this, there's this graph you have, and it's, it's called Goldilocks Zone. Ethic. This is literally a Photoshop picture. You really believe this picture is real? Ethical behavior, ethical CP and child porn. Oh, that's yeah, fake. Yeah. Hey, thank you for the membership, brother. This is not a real picture. This is a Photoshop. Okay, I, was, I just asked you about it. I didn't assume I was, ask, I was asking you a question. Um, all right. Well, look, there's a lot of clips with you defending CP, you know, and pedophilia.
There's like none so far that I we've seen. Single clip ever with me defending child porn. I've been streaming for 12 years. You think if I was into child porn? Damn, 12 years? Right yeah, Jesus. I I probably would have What's happening here? Jesus, 12 years? Do you still see yourself doing this in 12 years, Aiden? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't know. What's she, happening? Why did this activate? Yeah, I don't know. She Eddie will keep, you know what I mean? I don't know. Listen, my point is this though, Destiny, there's nothing wrong with him streaming. I, if 12 years, good for him. Destiny, this is my thing. Have you have you evolved and matured in, in these 12 years? What were you like 12 years ago, if you don't mean asking? Like, were you were you, you know? Well, he was debating the ethics of incest, so <laughs> what, what was your do you have the same beliefs, different beliefs? What was it like 12 years ago for you? Uh 12 years ago, I was probably like you guys. <laughs> Not against the system, thinking the. So then, and then, so what? Brain, what? Brain, what? 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 Brain, what? Brainwashing? Did you get? Did you get? Um? Did you get touched by somebody? You know, you get. It's incredible. <laughs> What a fucking idiot. Holy shit. You're a little bit older. You see the way of the world. You learn things. You know, when you don't know how anything works, everything's a conspiracy. So Let me ask you a question. You're, 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 work for a particular reason. You're like, oh, okay, makes sense. Let me ask you a question. question. Experience while gaming for 10 hours every single day. This is a common argument is saying that we don't know anything because we're on social media. A little bro is to say like, oh, like your early 20s, stuff like that. When this dude. Well, that, that's not for nothing. But like when you, especially when you, um, once you kind of like get rich, you, you pretty much stop developing. Um. And that's kind of where we're at, man. That's pretty much where we're at. This motherfucker has stopped developing. They don't really understand the world. Like, I worked a real job for 11 years, okay? Now I give, I'm fortunate enough to get to play fucking God of War while I watch a bunch of fucking Silly Gooses uh, talk, right? So that's very fortunate of me. But you learn the real world. You learn the fucking real world. You, like, learn politics. You learn that, like, oh, check it out. Both sides are fucking garbage and engage in, like, the same, like, bullshit. And that, like, there's no, like, particular special agenda or fucking magical Illuminati or anything. It's just a bunch of dumb fucks making dumb fucking decisions for personal gain. And it's right in front of us and nobody cares enough. That's really what it boils down to. Games for 10 hours a day. What do you know about the real okay. world? It's like 12 years ago, you were still streaming and you were going to esports events. Are you this enlightened guy because you dyed your hair blue and you're still doing the same thing? What makes you have more world, real world experience? Because I talked to a lot of people. I've been through a lot of things. I've had a lot so of experiences. 12 years and haven't really changed your stances on anything. You talked about eight years ago how you were justifying, well, defending child people who watch child porn and you still stand by that. This Just not, I, all I know is that like, like a couple of years ago when I first talked to Destiny, I said something uh, like where I was like, oh, I think that trans women are women and trans um, and trans women are women and so are cis women but they're different and he like was like no that's problematic blah 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 now today he doesn't have that same thing so obviously he's changed a little bit it doesn't necessarily matter if you still believe in the same things it's about having a deeper understanding of those things in a way that's morally consistent um but when you guys are sitting there fucking like having abysmal meltdowns about like fucking uh, you know his takes on like whatever 15 year olds or uh, old girls or whatever but then justifying andrew tate's sex trafficking or trying to 15 to 16 year old girls you kind of look like an idiot doesn't sound like you evolved that much. Cinco, you're literally the male version of the Miami boat girl who's riding off of other people's wealth to take pictures for your Instagram. I don't know how you're telling me that I don't have any life. Jesus Christ. You're telling me on any particular topic. You're like, I don't know you're saying this. And that's fine. We can talk about it. We can chop shop on anything. I've had a lot of business experience. I've had a lot of interpersonal experience. I've had a lot of experience hopping different platforms. I've traveled all over the fucking world. I you know, I think I understand now why when Sneeko went on that place, he like talked shit about Destiny. Like, oh, your girls, his girls in my DMs try to talk shit about him. Because Destiny's always dunking on him and it upsets him. And he's like a sensitive little kid. Because damn. That's fucking brutal. Talk to a lot of people. I've fucked a lot of girls. I've had, like, if you want to talk about a particular thing, we can chop shop on anything. But to say, like, oh, you don't have any experience because you stream video games? Like, bro, come on. That's what you say. You always say that to me and Aiden that we don't know anything. It seems you like do. we're doing this. You yeah, because you don't. You say that. I think I know a lot. I know a lot. Sneeko, I know a lot. Destiny, I know a lot. Destiny, how many genders are there? Like, I wouldn't give this same take to Fresh and Fit because when they talk about it, even though I disagree, there's so many tits in this fucking game. Because when they talk about shit, even though I disagree, they still have life experience. Like these two are just like fucking foaming at the mouth. It's 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 not the ideology. It's the way that they express themselves. There. <clears throat> There's two genders, buddy. Thank you. Really? He, he's trolling because you yeah, you have a lot of sheet a friends. Wait, I was gonna I was gonna. Sneeko, yo, Sneeko. <laughs> well, like, this is why I asked. I asked you. I, I just want to know, man. Where, where's your head at? I told you. You have a kid, right? Yep. Let me ask you a question, and and, and this can kind of get personal. I'm not gonna let it get personal. You don't, you don't have to answer it. Uh, personal, as you want, go for it. I, how old is your kid? 11, 11 years old. Oh, I knew that. So I watched Destiny too much. So if your 11 year old child is being exposed to certain TV and movies, what are, which are promoting a, an agenda, you know what I'm saying? How do you feel about you know that? How do you feel about you know them, them watching commercials, TV shows, movies? Yeah, and yeah. the only you know what I would I would turn off those channels. If I didn't want my kid watching gay stuff, I would turn the TV off. Because they're 11. That's how I would feel about it. There's a, And I also just wouldn't care. Hey, how do you feel about your 11-year-old seeing two dudes kiss on the internet, on the fucking TV? Oh, whatever. Who cares? It's a non-issue. It's a, Who cares? 
All right. If they again, if there was like this, somebody was had, had like uh, the fucking gender. <laughs> if somebody had like the fucking uh, gender, fucking god damn it, gender ideology show on, I'd probably say that's inappropriate for kids to watch. But if it's just a fucking gay kid in the show, who cares? Gay kids exist. Like I want my kid to understand that. Like who cares? Thing you can do as a parent in today's age, it's different for you guys. When I was a kid, you could keep your kids away from that shit, but today you can't. It's on their iPads, it's on their phones, it's on the computers, it's on TV. If you lock everything down your house, they're gonna learn about it from their friends at school. The best thing you can do is talk to your kid enough so that if they see something that's weird or strange, and they don't understand it, they'll come to you and talk to you about it. But okay, if you don't, I mean, then they, I mean, you can try to shield them all you want, but they're just gonna get it from their friends at school, basically. Next. Yeah, I'm not letting my kid use TikTok. Hell no. I, kid's not going TikTok. That's smart. That's actually smart. I agree. I agree. Not Instagram. Is it TikTok getting banned in uh, this year? <clears throat> Probably uh, we'll see, maybe. they're trying to in the U.S., but we'll see. Oh, Destiny, what do you think about how Kanye predicted um, about how he didn't, he didn't want North having a TikTok uh, because it was basically basically was going to happen? He called it with the ice spice with the ice spice shit. What do you think about that? Like uh, the whole the whole situation with uh, North and the ice spice. What did he predict that he didn't want? He, you didn't even give a prediction. He just said, "How do you feel about Kanye predicting?" His kid having TikTok? That's not exactly the most fucking insane prediction that I've ever I've ever come across. <clears throat> what did he predict that he's gonna make a TikTok? That's like if I predicted that somebody was gonna drink water tomorrow. Like I this is what kids are weirdos. What are you talking about? TikTok with uh, with Kim. What do you think about that? I have no idea what happened with North and Ice Spice and Kim and Kanye West gains support from social media after daughter North imitates Ice Spice. How did she imitate Ice Spice? I'm confused. Mm. I don't know why. What happened? It's disgusting. Yeah, he was right. Yeah, he said that he doesn't want his daughter on TikTok. He's oh, right yeah, now. She, she's, she's, she's dancing to these uh, these sexualized songs by Ice Spice, stuff like that. I mean, Ice Spice is basically kind of. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. No, that's uh, I. That's not good. But whatever. Like a, a female stripper artist, for the most part, if you look at her album covers, it's her like touching her clit and stuff like that. I don't think kids should be. <laughs> Jesus, that. I'm gonna go check that out. I don't think they should be showing themselves on TikTok. It's disgusting. Um, and I, I, I think, think they should I, be protected I, from that. Not to sound like weird. I don't know if you guys are already hitting like the boomer phase of your life. Like, obviously, we shouldn't be over sexualizing kids on social media, but like, you know, they do that shit like in early high way. school, right? Did you guys not have high school dances where you've got like the dean running around trying to keep the kids from like, and, you know, grabbing each other when they're yeah, dancing shit? Like, even early freshman high school, school, right? That is true. I guess kids, that's, the kids do gravitate towards that weird shit. Well, kids, it's just so gross, but kids are, are sexual sometimes, I guess. And I guess uh, that it happens, and you always got to try to stop them from doing it. So, yeah, <clears throat> still weird. But Is it better that it happens in a gymnasium where somebody has to control it than not being able to police it, and millions of people are seeing it on an app, and they can do whatever they want with those. That's completely different. One is in a control yeah, what's room, a boomer? one is for the whole world. What's a I don't think it's just like I said, I don't It's a big fat character from Left 4 Dead that will throw up on you. I, I don't think it should be on social media. I think it's a little bit messed up, but like kids have always been doing this shit. Like there was the fucking, there was Woodstock, there was the 60s, like kid, like children have always been fucking around. I don't know why, like some people hit you guys. Are, like, 23. You guys turn like 23 years old, and you're like, what? 14 year olds sexualizing themselves? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <What> the <laughs> All right, listen, 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 listen. This is the thing I want to say, man. You know, at the end of the day, we are people. We are all human beings. You know what I'm saying? And, and Destiny, you know, yeah. even though you're, you seem a little bit cuckoo, I still love you, man. It's all love, you know? Um, there's obviously things that you say that just don't make sense. Um, but, but, hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Sneak well, they don't make sense to you, but, you know, because you got fucking brain rot from getting rich and famous from an early age. Right? You, um, <laughs> Sneak, which, which, what else you got? It's a problem when you don't have to, like, actually... You know how, we, you know how like, the people in the manosphere always talk about how, like, women don't grow up um, because they don't have to because they're beautiful and get everything handed to them? That's you when it comes to making a bunch of money. You never had to grow up or think intelligently because nobody ever valued you on that. Like, everybody just valued you for going, yo, and, like, shitting and coming and farting all over yourself. Meanwhile, people who didn't get famous on the internet for fucking drooling had to be more intelligent and, like, get shit done and do stuff and things. That's why it's a good thing to be ugly because you build character, okay? That's really what it comes down to. Um, I have to ask, have you ever been to high school because high schoolers are messing around with each other and left and right all the time? Yeah, I have been, okay? My point is I'm 32. I don't want to think about that. It's gross. Okay. <clears throat> what do you want me to tell you? So I didn't really go to high school that much though. Kind of like once the 10th grade hit, I kind of stopped uh, going. Stayed home mostly. I was a fucking cringe kid. I was like a double honor student. And I fucking fucked around, dude. Came off my ADHD medication. I went too crazy, dude. A little too kooky. Okay. Uh, I gotta get going. Actually, oh, um, I'm in to... uh, Bangkok. I didn't sleep much, but uh, yeah, Dustin, I'll see you back in Miami, man. Yeah, and hey, thanks for having me on. Are you? Are, are you? Are, are, Whoa, no, 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 no. Let me ask you a question, though. Are you? Are, no, 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 no. Let me ask you a question, though. Are you? Are you guys friends at all, or no? You guys? Don't, you guys are friends. I consider him a friend. Destiny doesn't seem to. If Destiny got falsely I accused consider, for traffic, I literally consider you a friend. What the? F
I would send Destiny if he got accused for human trafficking because I don't think he is a human trafficker, but Destiny would not do the same for me. Why did somebody say Destiny's wife wants to f Nick Fuentes? Because apparently my wife everybody, I guess. That's the, that's the talk of the online world. No, wait, really? Your wife Nick Fuentes? No, he, he's a virgin. He's not a degenerate. No, that's like a whole meme and that all comes from, uh, you know, because they're in an open relationship. Well, by virgin, we mean gay, but close enough. Come on, man. See, look, look, at that. look at that actual gay person using gay as an insult. It makes no sense. Anymore. It doesn't make any I'm sense. Only, I don't get it. I'm only half gay, okay? So let's be fair enough. Oh, you're bi? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, nice to meet you. Well, not nice to meet you, but nice to know. <laughs> Why is it nice to know? Uh, look, man, it's, it's been great, man. It's been great, you know? Yeah. Um, Dude, I just, just want to say, at man. the end of the day, man, you are a human being. I'm a human being. You know, I told you, bro, even if, even though you're a little bit with the brain, it's okay. I still... Listen, I agree. I, right. You know what? And listen, even though you're Jewish, I think you're human too, okay? What the f***? Oh, hell no! <laughs> okay. That was... What a great end. Um, <clears throat> incredible stuff. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I hate to say it, it's always entertaining when we watch this stuff, though. It's 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 so funny that uh, Sneeko was talking about how none of this stuff provides value. Blah, blah blah. That's pretty much just content. There was nothing nothing but entertainment value. Just watching them, like basically, we basically just watched like fucking wrestling, and the fucking heels just got dunked on so hard um, by Stone Cold Steve Austin. Okay. I want Papa Gut to pee on my face, but just as a friend. There's nothing weird about that I want him to pee on my face 